three, two. You're listening to the HP well, podcast. here we, we are again. Every Friday, just like we said we would be. H3 after dark, baby. We never miss. Shoot. We're all met, baby. Or a brick. Good luck, Ethan. We'll find out. You know what a brick is? It's when it slams into the red. It's a brick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, my dad, whenever I watch UCLA games, this is a total, but like, I always found this so cruel. College uh, basketball, UCLA, yeah. every time when an opposing team comes and there's a thing called an air ball, that's when you totally miss the basket, the rim, hits nothing. Yeah. So every time that guy gets the ball again, the rest of the game, they go air ball. And they uh-huh. fucking shit on him the whole game. Brutal. Nice. Brutal. <laughs> How's everybody doing <laughs> on this beautiful Friday um, afternoon? Ela, my co-host, beautiful as ever, looking fresh as absolute, uh, <laughs> looking fresh as my ass after a nice squirt on the bidet, baby. Thank you. What a compliment. <laughs> well, I don't know. What else is fresh? Um, Name something fresher than that. Mm, you can't. Right. Teddy fresh. Teddy fresh. Fresh as a teddy. Um, how are you today? Uh, good. I. It's been. I'm yeah, actually. Yeah. What? I, I, I'm sorry. I thought the same thing. <laughs> what? It's been ten days oh. that you looked at me. Did it, but it's in a bit. Sorry. Shrek music. <laughs> it, is that uh? That is um. What's their name? A bare naked ladies, right? But did they make Shrek songs? Uh, they seem like the type of band so that would. So there's a whole I, genre I don't know if they're in my head in there, but. that I think of as Shrek music, which is like rock where they talk really fast. Shrek and roll. Shrek and roll. Shrek and roll. <laughs> yeah. It's been ten Shreks that you Shrek swap. It's been ten swamps that you Shrek at me. Anyway. So sorry, uh, I was going to say that it's been a tough week of lots of Teddy Fresh work. So. Mm. I'm kind of like my brain is a little bit of a mush right mm, now, mm. but we are we worked on like something really cool for yeah. later this year. Can't talk about it. So we finished designing it, and I'm really happy with it. But Me too. Um, it yeah. was it was really great that I was actually fully focused on Teddy Fresh because there was so much to do. Mm-hmm. But it was also weird to. Um, it's like a big change in my life, I feel like. Because you're there, you're in the office, you have like a plaque yeah. that's a CEO, right? No. <laughs> um, we had a room that was like a photo, show, photo shoot room, and we painted it all black on Dan's advice. And um, now that's my office, and I'm sitting in a black room. Black room. <laughs> Which I'm sure is really good for your mental health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, have you visited Blacked? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Right. Every day. Every day. So that's my office. <laughs> Every day. How does it feel to be black, Dila? <laughs> I feel like if you just walk into it not knowing anything, it looks like I'm into like really weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're painting the walls, but yeah, you've been in full it. CEO mode. And I, I wish I, we can't tell you guys about this, but you'll find out about it towards the end of this year. But it is freaking epic. Yeah. But here's this is what's coming out this month, like next week. This is the classic. It's a whole line we've been working on of just, like, classics. Beautiful, perfect, nice Inspired by the quarantine, because we're all home anyway, and this is all we wear. Oh, this is quarantine inspired? (laughs) Interesting. (laughs) And uh, you guys can't see it, but the zipper is a teddy bear head, which (laughs) Oh, that's hot. So sick. (laughs) All right. This is also coming out this month, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. Now I have a... Oh, Tom Cruise is calling in. Today, we have Tom Cruise, the actor, mega actor, Tom Cruise. Oh, we also are sponsored today by Keeps and ExpressVPN. Tom Cruise, everybody, legendary actor. Going to be calling in later. It's pretty interesting. You know, there's a whole phenomenon on TikTok where there's, like, these celebrity impersonators, celebrity lookalikes. There's a bunch of Tom Cruise ones. So Tom Cruise himself is calling in to discuss this phenomenon and to share his thoughts and what he thinks about all these How the hell did we land him? That's yeah. amazing. No, yeah. It's, hey, we're a big gonna show. Are get Brad big Pitt show. next? Yeah, everything's possible when you have a show this size and this important. <laughs> well, they know. When we talk to the agent, I say, look, 
listen, I don't want to go to threats, but we have a very influential podcast, and I have seen Tom Cruise wiki feed actually does tom cruise have a wiki feed that's an interesting question. oh absolutely <laughs> oh, four point three. See, he's already kind of hurting and i'm just saying you know the man has a reputation as a heartthrob it'd be a shame if somebody <laughs> if somebody did something bad to his wiki feed rating you know not i so, want to smell feet. certainly not something we would ever do no but i'm just saying it sounds so, similar to extortion what you're he, describing. Yeah. yeah, it does sound similar. <laughs> but but that but you know. What is that? It's yes, like... I yes, I extort them. I do extort them. <laughs> what is that? Wait, he was barefoot when he went up there? <laughs> what Tom, what are you photo? doing? <laughs> yeah. I guess he he was on top of the burge for some stunt in a mission impossible. But dude, why were yeah, your shoes why are they at? Barefoot? That's a great that question. That looks like a photoshop. He's so cash. He's like, Yep, I'm Tom because he has the power of Scientology that fuels everything he does. Yeah. These are some desperate ass foot pics, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? How old is he? Tom Cruise, man. There must be something to Scientology because this guy's pretty it amazing. It looks like he say. doesn't age. <laughs> yeah, there there is something to Scientology because if you look at this guy, he's fifty eight. What? No, no fucking what? way. He's fifty eight. <laughs> Are you kidding oh my me? God. Yeah, they're doing something in Scientology, but it only works for the. I think what happens in Scientology is that they somehow f farm the blood or the life force energy of the normal, mm -hmm. the casual members, and they feed it to Tom Cruise. Yeah, I do think they probably suck your soul and turn it into liquid. Right. And then they feed it to him. Tom Cruise is definitely. What? That's not what they do. What do they do? They, they cleanse your soul. That's oh, the that's whole point, a good dude. Foot shot. Oh, okay. That's the whole point. They cleanse your skull, soul of the skull. They do cleanse your skull. They cleanse your skull <laughs> real good. Yeah, they get the, the, the there's the I thetans. Know, like, people who have their skull cleansed by Scientology. Listen, there's thetans, which are the souls of a dead, extinct alien race that have uh, glued themselves to our souls, and, hey, and hey. we need to cleanse them with a e meter. Fifty eight. Damn. Anyway, I said, yes, I do extort them. I mean, I straight up blackmailed them. I'm not I'm like, but what are they going to do? Take me to court over wiki fee? So I says, yeah. I'm going to tank your fucking wiki fee if you don't come on our show. They said, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Don't say no more. It's too important to our client's image. <laughs> <clears throat> Zach, I have some. Oh, Zach, I was listening to the last episode. Since now I'm a listener. Um, I love the tulip. Discussion. Oh, really? <laughs> the tulip bubble. He likes my little my little tulip fart. <laughs> yeah, brain wait, fart. great so, moment. We talked. We had this whole conversation about the tulip bubble. The two <laughs> they were actually selling tulips. I felt like we concluded that they were selling. Yeah, art I feel like tulip. I didn't really learn yeah, anything didn't from learn that anything. discussion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said that. I said it. That's not. That's not. Let's what not. They were let's selling. not revive the tulip conversation, please. <laughs> We don't need to relitigate <laughs> this, please. I've moved on mentally. It's a tulip bubble. It was a tulip, the first bubble ever. <laughs> tulip art, Napoleon swam. I mean, I got the facts, man. <laughs> that one is still lot. debated. <laughs> Napoleon swam. <laughs> Zach, what is this I hear about you hating peace and love? I don't like this. What, what is this? It's not so much a sense of you saying it or Ela saying it. It's the sense of like you can say it and then say the most hurtful fucking thing after it. <clears throat> like that's the joke. That's literally what's good about it. I Dan, you said you'd back me up on this yesterday. What? Well, I I feel like I've, it's it's half of our comments on on every social media platform and YouTube comments at this point, and it it is. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. Who are you guys to pass judgment what? on what people like, what stands out to people? I'm Wait. Sorry. You guys who are, are we? We're, we're people who work on the show. And, uh, <coughs> and we're, we're You guys are criticizing. To... With peace that... and love. I think you guys are talking way out of turn. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? You're starting to hate peace and love because people like it? He was I'm sorry. Zach was pretty passionate about it yesterday on the Zoom call when we were prepping the show. He was just like, I'm fucking sick of this peace and love. It's every comment. It's just peace and love, blah, 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 peace and love, blah, blah, blah. Can you give us an example of one that makes you mad? Yeah, you... Uh, <laughs> uh, with peace and love, I don't like AB's hair. Yeah. 
I think I think that's I think it was about your hair. Probably. I think it was exactly that comment, but <laughs> Zach's hair. So you think you you feel yeah. you're being insulted more than usual <laughs> by the audience, and they they think it's okay because they start with peace and love. Is that what's happening? You feeling more more vulnerable lately since the uh, introduction? I, I guess so. I feel like if because you say peace and love, people feel like you can say whatever the hell you want after it. <laughs> Like that's peace the and power. Love. That's the power. I but it's like no, like like <clears throat> doesn't work like that. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I think it's hilarious when you and Eli do it. It's just like so. Uh, Zach, <clears throat> Zach wants to instate a rule stating fans with peace and love can no longer say <laughs> peace and love. Only Ethan with and peace Eli. and love. Yeah, with okay. peace and love. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. There was a lot that. of people saying AB's hair was better than yours, Zach. Well, that's fine, man. I, I like my. I'm, Actually, it I looks like, like you've hair. improved it. Zach. I did. I toned it. I got the purple shampoo. I got a little haircut to get rid of some of the dead clippings on it. But um, yeah, I mean, look, people are entitled to their opinion. I like it. I think I rock it, and I'm gonna stand good now. Well, as long as it's not prefaced with peace and love, apparently they're not entitled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone, exactly. Everyone keeps telling me to tell Zach about toner. I've told him with peace and love. His hair is darker, guys. Oh, so you're going to call him out now? What is with no, toner? No, no, Everybody's going on and on about toner. They tell me toner, toner, Zach, toner. Yeah, everybody the, the toner. other half yeah, of the comments uh, 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 that it's like, aren't peace AB toned. Zach needs to tone. Ethan didn't tone. It's like, just fucking stop with the toning. I get it. There's a thing called toner, and apparently it helps. I, I don't care about toner. I don't want toner. I don't want to hear about toner. I'm out on the toner. And by the way, the minute I start right, toning so no my one hair. Can tell, no one can also talk about toning hair. No, no one can say peace and no love. Peace no peace and love. Right. What a great uh, Any community. other boundaries <laughs> we want to Im Im impart on everybody watching? You know, the minute I start toning my hair and start, start trying to make it look good, then, then I've really fallen. Ethan has this thing where he doesn't want to look like he's trying. So right. he doesn't want to tone his hair. Right. Because it's not funny if I come out looking with peace and love to AB, he wants to look good, and that's fine, and God bless, you know. Why shouldn't you? People want like to that look you look good. good, you know. I see people are thirsting for AB a lot in the comments with his hair and stuff, but like, it's just not funny. Like, right now, I've got but it, you like. You need to make yourself look funny. It's not funny to come out and be like all swagged out. It's not funny. They need a pathetic, it's fat, desperate funny. old man clinging to his youth I with every like grasp. I feel like there's some issue here. You should yeah, talk to a therapist is an issue. about it. It's an issue, okay? I admit. It's not I'm funny. not using toner. <laughs> because no of fucking the toner, toner, I think you need to see a therapist. No. It's funny. <laughs> with peace and love. This is a serious <laughs> message to everybody watching my update right now. <laughs> peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> I want to tell you, please, after the 20th of October, no more fan mail to any address that you have. Oh, I think I fucked up. I think I missed the whole line. I missed the whole line. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, we also have N... So, okay, you guys, if you didn't watch our last episode, there's a huge thing going on with <laughs> NFTs. We put up our own exclusive one of... I mean, it's only time this is ever going to happen. Art. Okay? This is pretty serious now. This is a serious message. <laughs> Please, give us your money. Now, hey, hey, hey. we were taking bets on what would sell and stuff, so this is pretty interesting because we have updates. Um, by the way, there's also a huge update because when we did this bit in our previous episode, the current highest selling art was like 6.6 .6 million. Now, in between that time and this episode, the same guy Beeple sold his art for 69 million dollars, one piece. Oh, that just happened when you that showed it. That just happened in? right oh. after. Yeah, that literally just happened like yesterday or the day before. I, I think I saw that it was actually a resale, so it might have actually been that same six wow. million no, sale. No, 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 no. Somebody no. resold it. No, no, it wasn't a resale. Oh, okay. It was it was an original piece. It was like a, a collage of his 5,000 works. So was this guy it was sold through Christie. already so it was like, a famous artist? Like, was his art yeah. Yeah. for a lot Yeah, he's before? famous. And actually, I've been looking at his art. His art is really fucking cool. Like, I'm not even going to... I can't even hate on the guy. He's I, a digital... Well, yeah, I've been following him on Here, Instagram for, for a while, and he, he's always made some pretty so cool stuff. So apparently he makes... Was he always into digital art? 
I think yeah, so, he's always yeah. been a digital artist. Apparently, he makes a new one every day, which I don't know how the fuck he does that because they're like really detailed. Um, and so, what he did is he, in the first five thousand days, he put made a collage of every single piece, mm. and he sold it on Christie's, which is like the most reputable auction house for art, for sixty nine million motherfucking dollars, bro. But like, Whoa! I mean, his sh he, how does he make this in a day? Like, they look super good. He makes this in a day? Yeah, he makes one new every day. What? The world is and it's not super, the world maybe he has like be. assist, because he he's super rich, obviously. Yeah, b big artists do have assistants and stuff. But this just seems like way too. So these are mm, digital? These are all digital arts hmm. that he sells. You know, a lot of them aren't one of one. He'll make like a hundred copies or something, or a thousand copies in some cases. But that one was one of one. That's really cool. <clears throat> but I can't. But his art is super cool. It's like funny and weird. Yeah. And just f kind of fucked up. You know. Yeah. Um, I'm so it's really good. Excited. I don't know how he does it in one day, though. I mean, he must have helpers. This guy's eating out of turkey, bro. I mean, what the <laughs> hell? That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> oh, can someone link me the video of when the sale went through? It was pretty interesting. He was watching live with his family as it went through. Um, it was really cool. The bull, the Bitcoin bull. Yeah, I mean, they're all, like, super interesting. There's 5,000 of these. You know? This one I thought was great. It's Shrek <laughs> just fucking paint, you know it. what I mean? This is really what goes down in Shrek Swamp. Does Not he make also paintings, like real kind of paintings? I don't know. Not that I know of, but I certainly could be wrong on that. I just like the video, too. I would love that. This is what goes down. Michael Jackson and Kim Jong-un. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Why not? You know? Why not? Oh, that's a lot of, that's graphic. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess a lot of these are pretty graphic. I sent you the video if you're, if you're interested. So here he is with his family. It's only like a minute long, but it was like in the last minute of the sale. This guy's like a normal dude with the family, and he's like, yeah, I just made fucking 70 million bucks. Someone uh, <laughs> just said in the comment, like, exactly what I'm wondering. They said people pl paying millions for this, but some people can't afford to eat. It's like... I also wonder, like, who are all these rich people all of a sudden that have so much money? It's not all of a sudden. Around? It's always been like this with art. No, but it's the specifically with the NFT. So this one wasn't actually an NFT sale. I think this one was straight up dollars because it was through Christie. Even though most of his stuff he oh. sells with NFTs. Okay. But this was, you can see it's not in, the, the currency that's being displayed is literal fucking dollars. I guess uh, then my so comments still it, it still is, is an NFT, but you're right that it was it just it was purchased in in well, they're dollars. buying the NFT. Sorry, they're right, buying right. the NFT, but it wasn't in like a crypto Ethereum or yeah. something. Yeah, it was just straight up seventy million. Someone so, offered but that. So, still like who are they? I don't know. That's so much money. Yeah. I agree. People have always spent ridiculous amounts of money on art. I mean, no, but all of a sudden you have like <laughs> listeners of. Uh, or fans of Too Mad, right? Who just have the money to splurge on a well, on a gag, you that's know? The a whole, picture that's of a why nipple. we made our own. Same crypto. question here, yeah. yeah. That's just why so I'm wondering, stupid. like, who are all these I people? I don't know. Well, and they have well, so much money. Again, back to the tulip. We we were a lot of us were speculating. It's just some crazy ass bubble, because well, I'll explain. Like for example, the Beeple one that hold, held the previous record was a resale. So Beeple sold it for like sixty thousand, mm -hmm. and then somebody got, some guy turned around and listed it because like yeah. resale is really so. And then he sold it for uh, six million. So I think there's a lot of people that think that they can resell this and make okay. a lot of money. So that's one that's aspect of it. The... Another aspect that I've heard is that people okay. seem to think that this is some kind of tax. Oh. Tax evasion slash deduction uh, scheme, you know, which has long been said to be one of the reasons why people spend so much on art is because you can value art as whatever you want. I mean, if you buy, if you spend seventy million dollars as an investment on art, that's a full write-off. Mm -hmm. But I don't really get that argument, frankly, because the only way that makes sense is if, like, your friend. Uh, 
It doesn't really. The only way it makes sense is if your friend, the person you're buying it from, is in on it. Because you say, here's seventy million dollars, you got to take it all off yeah. as a deduction. Well, that's how money. But on. that's fraud. Right. That's not a tax deduction scheme. That's straight up fraud. So I don't that's know. That's not fraud. It is fraud. <laughs> I, I don't get it, dude. Up. I don't get it. False but advertising? When I saw this piece sold for six, $70 million, I was like, you can buy an original Da Vinci for that price. I just don't get it. I don't know. You could buy one of the Grand Master's all-time masterpieces for that price. Like, yeah. there was... Or, what, there was, like, an original Da Vinci that was, like, uncovered a few years ago. Can someone look up how much that sold for? I guess also my immediate issue with it is that like what's the difference between me having it on my phone and like a screenshot or a jpeg or whatever what is the difference you know it's just it's this weird new concept <laughs> that so i think weird. we have to wrap our brains yeah. around it's the authentic it, it's just you own the authentic one i know but thing. when you buy an, an an artist print you know it's a really nice print if you're going to go and print it in a... Well, it's signed. A, it's like signed. So let's say there's like 10 legit lithographs signed by the artist. So it's like that. I mean, right, you could but get a the print itself is bucks. also really nice quality. If you go and get a poster, it's not going to look the same. But, Ila, you know, it, I mean? you know if, you, if, if a really well, famous artist sells something like a lithograph or something that's signed, even if it's really high quality, how much do you think that that print itself costs to make? You know, at most... Hundred dollars, maybe. It, it's still being uh, it, the value is still no. mostly being derived from the fact that one, it's rare, and two, it's signed by the artist. Look, I, I kind that's of that's where agree the value is coming from. It's it's super weird and it's crazy. Like two mad just selling pictures of his titties for thousands of dollars. You know, Idubs too. He sold a picture of his nutsack yeah. for thousands of dollars. So I was like, let's get paid, baby. Yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. So Da Vinci sold for. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm way off. Da Vinci's original Ela that recently came out sold for four hundred and fifty million. So that's a little bit more. You actually can't get an original Da Vinci for seventy million. It turns out, not nearly enough money. What's the story with this? When did I? I, I remember this thing came out. They someone found it. Like, okay, you found it. Sounds like a fake to me, but okay. How a four? I just found an article from Wall Street Journal. Uh, it was lost in America. A Louisiana family discovers a Salvator Mundi painting had long hung in their home before it was reauthenticated as a Leonardo masterpiece. So Bruh. they had it, and they just didn't know it was real. Four hundred and fifty million. Let's it was, go. Can you show an image? I want to see this fucking thing. It was sold in 1958 for sixty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> They thought oh it was probably God. a reproduction or something, or uh, it's called. It's, Whoa! <laughs> it's called Salvatore. Carlos loves that investment. <laughs> That's a big connect. Woo! Big connect. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there you go. I mean, wow. Beep, Beeples is a is a bargain. Here, if you look in here, the, it is. Yeah. That's your boy, Jesus Christ. You know, we love you, God. We love you. I feel like we I sound like watch. this old people that are like, they can't understand why people want to watch video games. Yeah. Like when you watch a streamer playing video games, they're like, but why would you want to watch it? I feel like I'm like that, but I just don't understand. Well, it. listen, it, it, it's, You're far from it's alone of my <laughs> opinion, and I could be wrong, I could be eating my words, okay? But it's a, I'm of the opinion that in 10 years and probably even less that nobody's going to give a fuck about this shit. Mm -hmm. But I, again, I could eat my words. Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, Ela, there Jesus might Christ. be an NFT that might catch your interest. Really? That, uh, just went up. Yeah. Mm. There's a link in the Discord. Just hit the okay. Hit the so market. you guys know that we each have our own and our NFT, NTF, non-fungible NFT. <laughs> but did you know how many of these did we mint, Dan or Ian? Fifty. Fifty, but only five are for sale right now. Now, did you guys know that we have our own original oh Ela Klein token? That's right. Shredding with Shredder. She's just skating past the haters. They're doing ollies. They're doing jumps. That's right. It's one of a kind, baby. It's Ela Klein. Well, it's one of 50. You have two weeks to buy this ultimate collectible. This is the only coin we will ever mint. This is your one and only chance. Um... 
and and whatever's not bought in two weeks are going to be tossed in the bin with okay. peace and love. <laughs> That's, that's awesome. pretty sick, I gotta say. <laughs> so yeah, I like it. So Let's that's Ela's. So let me let me go over because I, I think a lot of people are wondering what's been happening. <clears throat> yeah. Now we put the okay because listen, this is all we don't know what's going on. And I'm I'm hoping you guys see the value in this more than us. You know what I mean? Because for us, it's just a gag. So here's the result so far. <clears throat> Our vape nation coin. We've sold four. Wow. We yep. sold four Vape Nation coins. Tokens. D a token. token. Tokens. <laughs> it's a we got the coins for the token. That's one Ethereum. That's like 1800 bucks. I mean, with peace of love, thank you, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. But the, that's the thing. If you're buying this, you understand something I don't. Right. Because you can go turn around and resell this fucking rare, beautiful thing and make a bunch of money, apparently. Yeah. You know? yes, I when I know. when and maybe I get assassinated, maybe I die in a car crash. The value is going way up. You know what I'm saying? When the I, world is not anymore the way it used to be. It's true, <laughs> Carlos. See, That's Carlos understands. Carlos probably bought one of those coins. He knows what's up. He probably did. Probably did. Yeah. When I was um, explaining that we were doing this to uh, a buddy of mine who's very into all of this, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm trying to understand it, but I am pretty skeptical of it. But when I explained it to him, he was like, oh, no, people are for sure going to buy these. And they're going to, he thinks people are going to flip them and sell them for way more than we're selling them. That's the idea. That's how right? confident he is. Yeah, I'm like, okay. So, if you say so. I think they will too, because this is the first. This you know, is time the one and only time this will ever happen. Well, I am kind of happy to see that a lot of people in the chat are also not understanding. <laughs> well, I know I want them to understand. <laughs> Pay us. The, most, the majority of people, I think, are, but, are very skeptical um, of this. I do see, um, actually, that we did want to talk about, um, people are mentioning that we should talk about the environmental Oh, we'll get to that. Effect. But first, yeah. let's get to me getting paid. I definitely want to talk about that. <laughs> let's, come on, Hila. Well, the people that know don't care about the environment. They just want to get paid. Hit me with that big connect. Big connect. Thank you, Carlos. So, guys, let me tell you, I love... <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the big connect train right now. <laughs> okay, so I already I'm made so eight. Excited. <laughs> I already made eight thousand selling these fucking vape nation coins, bro. That's just me, okay. Um, now here's the tally. Ian, the legend himself, five coins to commemorate Ian. Singularity. Tokens? What do you mean? Tokens. Five tokens. Tokens. We only minted oh, five. Made. Yeah. There's th only three left. Ian has sold two of these. Wow. Ian is in the bag, secured the bag. We're talking almost $4,000. That's two Ethereum. Ian, what do you have to say to the people? Yeah, well, that's like the energy of a small town or something. <laughs> really? There's the two tokens? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's let's Ian... bump that town up. Let's get to a city. Come on, Ian, baby. Stand up. We don't need energy in whatever Africa or whatever. I don't know. Who's, who, who needs energy? Ian, please stand up. Stand sure. up, please, Ian. <laughs> but stand up. Give him a round of applause. That's I'm two, two tokens. Wow. Two coins, I mean. Two coins. Excuse me. No, no you got a tokens. Oh no, he got coins. He oh, sold he a got token the co and he got two coins. Okay, that's okay. okay. Fair enough. So I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he got coins for his tokens. What's okay. not clear about that? Okay. Okay. Moving on to Zach, Joker Brain. Give him a round of applause. The boy sold one token for one coin. You're in the Thank money, you. baby. Thank you very much. Joker brain. You Thank just you wouldn't much. get it. Dan with his bridge to sell you. <laughs> even in pure... Even in a pure revolt of the notion. He even is making fun of the person that bought it. I've got a bridge to sell you. And yet, despite his best efforts, Dan has sold one token. Why? Why did you buy that? Somebody bought it real quick. Why did you buy that? Well, they think thank it's you, Dan. What am, am I not saying say what? right? I've got a, what what do you does read? it say two under? What do you say? Close it. Yeah. Does it not say two owners? Oh, yeah. It's because one the one me. person who bought it and, uh, and us. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I thought you were saying boners. 
<laughs> Why? Uh, AB, the super <laughs> simp, <laughs> has sold one token. Everybody's in the money. Let's go. Fuck you, AB. <laughs> Trish is not happy about it, but hey, she didn't have to buy it. So everybody sold one. Ian sold two. Right, and four for and you. And I sold four. Has anyone bought yours yet, Ela? Mm. Nobody's bought it yet. Come on, guys. Don't it's let been, her it's down. It's been like three minutes. <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to get paid. Hey, hey, Please. Hey. <laughs> Carlos is waiting. <laughs> Be <connect! laughs> I feel like Carlos right now so much. Okay, wow. but this is the big prize. This is like Beeple's five th first th 5,000 days. This is one. There's only one of these. Legendary shit, bro. Gold pulsating coin. Listen to that. Poof. Watch the gold pulsate. Poof. Watch that shit. Poof. You see what I'm saying? It's epic. So it also includes not just the token, but the one and only Vape Nation full video NFT. The only one to exist. One of one. Yeah, it's crazy. So we've had a few bids. I think it's a little far out, but like I encourage more bidding, obviously. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. Um, so I'm just so curious who these people how are. How can I see the bids? Cause they're right there. But I know there, there's only been three? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Come on, guys. Only three bids. Started out <laughs> one. We're up do? to 1.26. If this doesn't sell for at least 20000 I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Yeah. So. Mm -mm, no, no, no. This is all very exciting. So you guys will update us, right? If there's any sale, any sales during the show, especially if Elo's, we gotta get her on the map. Gotta get Elo paid. Thank you, thank you. Oh, let's watch people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we are in my living room, and we're watching That's the, the legend. closing of the auction, which closes in an hour and eighteen minutes. It's already at like a. Absolutely ridiculous. 15 million amount. it's at. For every day, three he and a half years, legend. people have created digital artwork and posted online. So it's a collage of them all. Pretty cool. Can we use this music? Sounds like, uh, what's it called? Sounds like some royalty free shit. I'll just mute it just in case. Well, I want to hear him talk. Tools yeah. And influenced by the work of a bunch of people in the crypto community as well. Hey, Mike, this is Jason. I just want to say congratulations. You're at 25 million, 250,000. Crazy. 25 million, Jeez, one minute Christ. left. What the hell? Fuck! So there's one minute left. It goes from 25 million to 70. Million. What? Oh my God. 69 million. So that's what I'm expecting, obviously, for, for ours, right? <laughs> I mean, it's at a thousand now, thousand like or like two thousand. So I'm expecting, you know, the Whoa! last minute we'll probably get up to twenty to seventy million. I'm expecting. I'm wondering if one of those people who are buying it would want to call in and explain why they're buying it. That's a, that's my dream. I want to talk to them. Yeah. All right. Well, Actually, if, if you anybody, guys are listening now. Yeah. If anybody who has bought a token, a token, not a coin. You got it. Hey. Um. Uh, Message Zach on Discord. We want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. I would love Please. to. Yeah. Peace I'm and love. So Dan's going to berate you. <laughs> Dan, don't berate our callers. I won't berate, but no, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, uh, I am too. Dan's like, let me fucking talk to those idiots. <laughs> I am so excited. I am so happy. I don't know, though. I feel, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong about that one, one of one, one, you know? These are all going to be worth a lot someday, for sure. Apparently. Allegedly. <laughs> well, you either speculate now, you know, get in now, or you're going to miss the train. People used to say Bitcoin would never reach. What's it at, like 60,000 now? Uh, it's going up there, yeah. It was exactly. at like 55 the other day. Wake up. This is going to be worth oh, wake million up. dollars when I'm assassinated. And that's what I wonder is, if, are the only people buying this... The, the crypto millionaires that, you know, got Bitcoin when it was $10 and they just they that's have like of, half a billion dollars now and they're just like, fuck it, I'll just spend money on anything. That's what I think because it's like funny money. 
Right. They're like, oh, I have like That's what I'm wondering. They're like, I have a million Ethereum. Yeah. I'll just give you one. Yeah. But it's still money. You could, they could go sell that shit and just cash out $200 million. I mean, it's money is money. People aren't just, there's no such thing as funny money. You know yeah. what I mean? That's like, oh, I've got this, uh, I've got these, I've got a billion Mexican pesos. So here's a, here's a, a million because I don't care about money. It's still money. You know what I mean? It's legit currency. Like you could sell it and cash out immediately. Right, Dan? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you guys have said, you know, when this is all said and done, you're going to cash out this Ethereum that we're making. I, I'm not keeping it. <laughs> I think I'll probably keep mine as you Ethereum. You want to keep your coins? I mean, it just keeps going up. You want to keep your Ethereum coins? Interesting. If it's worth $10,000 next year, you know what yeah. I mean? Hmm? I'm taking it out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want a coin. I don't want a purse. I don't need a Wake coin up. purse. You hear about people losing their purse and then they lose their money forever? Really? No. Yeah. Oh, There's yeah. There's dudes who have lost like thousands of bitcoins because they farmed them a while ago and then they like never. Hmm. Like, I, yeah, I, I heard a that. story of some guy in Europe who, uh, who had bought a bunch of bitcoin in like 2009 or something and he lost the password and the thing that he's using, you only get five attempts at the password Bruh. and he's used four. Bruh. And so now he's like scared to do the last hey, attempt because hey, then he'll get hey. locked out forever. Carlos knows the password. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was something, it was like a hundred million dollars worth of Bitcoin in there or something. And if he, if he guesses the password wrong one more time, it's poof, it's gone. <laughs> how do you live, how do you live your life after that? Like, I, I think you just have to, <laughs> bro, I don't even know. Like, you literally burned a hundred million dollars. Just, wow. Crazy. So, uh, so we're at uh, 36 minutes. We we got to do our oh, average. we got to do average. Right. Yeah, let's see if you just sold real fast. We said we would get to talking about the environment. Oh oh oh! Oh, those, those are Ian creating them. Oh, Ian's watching. He'll he'll let us know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the environment. Well, let's do the ad reads and we'll talk about the environmental devastation. <laughs> That minting these coins has wrought on this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's start with Keeps. Let's thank our sponsors, shall we? We love Keeps. Hit me with some cool music so it's less awkward. Yeah, baby. Did you guys know that two out of every three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35? Uh-uh-uh. We don't got to deal with that shit any fucking more. That's more than 50 million men in the U.S. suffering from male pattern baldness. Yo, we don't need that shit. We want big, beautiful tufts of hair like we deserve. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medication delivered straight to your door every three months so you don't have to leave your house, which frankly, I don't ever want to leave my house for anything ever again. If you if you're using our sponsors, you never have to leave your fucking house again. <laughs> you lazy fuck. But it's but it but it's a it's a pandemic, so we have a reason. All right. This is how you're gonna be feeling once you get your hair back with keeps. Ooh, let's go fuck some weird chicks. What? Low cost. Treatments start at just ten dollars per month and keeps offers generic versions. You get it in a discreet package, so you don't have to be embarrassed. Although you shouldn't be. I mean, why should you be? And it has proven results. Keeps has five-star reviews more than any of its competitors. Look, they know that prevention is key. The treatment can take four to six months to see results, so act fast and be patient. If you're ready to take the action to keep that beautiful hair on your head, go to keeps.com slash after dark to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash after dark to get your first month free. First month free? Woo! Keeps. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash after dark. Oh. One more. We got one more to go here, fellas. Ooh. Keep that beat rolling. Well, you got, can you change the beat? I like to change the vibe. Switch up. Yeah. Oh. Switch up. This is one Express VPN, so we need something a little more like. Hardcore. Intense. Intense. Oh! There it is. Here we go. There it yeah, is. Yeah, you guys already know! It's Express VPN! 
How could you not know it's ExpressVPN? I talk about them all the time on my show, and I can't stress enough the importance of protecting your online activity from big tech fuckers who track, spy, and profit off of you. But there's actually another reason many of my listeners also love using ExpressVPN. Netflix. Because you could fucking say you live anywhere. Fuck you, Netflix. What's with all the cursing? I'm just feeling amped up because it's us against the world. You know what I'm saying? It's ExpressVPN versus the world. See thousands of shows on Netflix that are only available outside of the U.S. So you, all you need to do is change the country you're accessing it from and... Boom, bada beam, you get all this fresh new content. Eat. Like, for example, if you connect from Japan, all of a sudden it's like, oh, you got the whole fucking collection of, uh, what's it called? The, the animator we love? Miyazaki? Yeah. Yeah, yes, Miyazaki. Miyazaki. Yeah, Studio Ghibli. Studio Ghibli. It's like, oh, okay. What's up? And I said, America, not good enough for Studio Ghibli? Probably a licensing issue, not really anything to, to do with nationality or anything. But, boom, ExpressVPN, you're watching all your favorite shit. Same with Canada, UK. There's tons of new content up in that bitch. ExpressVPN encrypts your data and reroutes it through a server location of your choice. It not only protects your data, but it also lets you control which country Netflix wants to th Netflix thinks you're in. You can choose over 90 different countries, so every time you run out of stuff to watch, just fire up on your app and log in from a different country, refresh, and boom, you've got new shit to watch. It's that fucking simple, dude. Here's the best part. It's not just for Netflix. You can use ExpressVPN to unlock shows or sports on other streaming services, too. Boom! You can use it on BBC iPlayer. You can use it in the UK on all this Netflix freaking crap. Peace and love. I love Netflix. Look, there's a reason why ExpressVPN is the number one rated VPN provider by published by Wired, CNET, and more importantly, me. I love it. Be smart, guys. Protect your data and stop paying full price for streaming services while only getting access to a fraction of their freaking content. So visit expressvpn.com slash h3 right now and get three extra months of their service for free. That's expressvpn.com slash h3. Expressvpn.com slash h3 to learn more. Awesome. All right, you want to talk about envir environmental devastation now? <laughs> um, so the deal with the so we kind of have a conversation about this. Um, it's like all the blockchain stuff is super bad because you have to like harvest. Is there some footage we could look at? Oh, what was that video you sent me? Yeah, we should watch that. But basically, there's just massive fucking servers that are mining coins and running the servers and the services. Um, basically, just shitting energy into the void mm -hmm. for no purpose other than this digital currency. You got yeah. that video, that guy we watched uh, farming Bitcoin yesterday? It seems kind of weird for something that's supposed to be like a new, that it's not like a smart thing, you know? that could also benefit something. So, right. You know, when I heard about the blockchain and the farming, I figured that, like, they, they were crunching algorithms to, like, that, that somehow that was make. They were, like, trying to solve mm -hmm. algorithms to create, like, AI or something really interesting and futuristic. Nah. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's basically just running the servers, the blockchain itself, that encrypts everything. Um, here's a video of someone doing a Bitcoin farming operation it's probably somewhere really cold like alaska or iceland or some shit because the server it's, it gets super it hot mm -hmm. yeah exactly so yeah you can imagine how much energy this is pulling so this video is interesting but um i looked into it a little bit and this isn't actually the best example for the wastefulness of it because what this is is they've built this using uh um, I believe it's when you uh, mine oil or drill for oil, there's all this gas that comes up, and it's usually just burned off into CO2 that enters the atmosphere, and they're using that, they're capturing it and using it to power the okay. server farm. So this is actually an example of like a relatively good way to do it that's 
well, not sustainable because it's still coming from drilling oil, but that oil is being drilled for all the other purposes that uh, uh -huh. oil is drilled for anyways. Well, and it is a good example of how much power it's used. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is yeah, this is not at all uncommon. And I would actually say that that's relatively small. There, uh, a, a lot of these are, um, you know, in these data banks where they'll have like thousands of graphics cards running 24-7, like full Let's throttle. Let's get some videos. Yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. You know? Yeah, look around. But so, yeah, it's certainly, so, um, I mean, it's I mean, using a lot of power. I don't right? know what but I'm missing, but like, yeah, they, they mine, and then they run the, and then they run the, the blockchain, whatever the fuck that means. I literally don't even know. <laughs> but apparently it's all encrypted, so they have to like crunch numbers and shit to verify. This is like the real shit, eh? Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about. So this is where all graphics cards are going? <laughs> this is why I can't get a new graphics card? Uh, yes, actually. I mean, it, it's good. It's a big contributing factor to why it's These so motherfuckers difficult. are the reason why I can't play video games? <laughs> This is such bullshit. The combined mechanical force of 260 washing machines. This constant cool airflow is essential to keep the computational hardware at optimal working temperatures. That's because any burnout or interruption to the mining process literally costs money, with individual coins trading at many hundreds of dollars. Potentially millions are at stake. So for the technicians overseeing the Enigma facility, failure really isn't an option. Oh the God. electricity bills at Enigma reportedly run to Sounds more stressful. than a million dollars. Y'all got month. just one and graphics card going spare. I can use like we've been waiting like how long for a fucking graphics card yeah, we, to upgrade our computer. We ordered a really uh I mean this is some computer. bullshit, y'all. It's, it's been delayed for about two months because can't get the fucking graphics card. So. Yeah, this is, pisses me off. I mean you guys are right. It this is pretty is bullshit. Annoying. That being said, please buy my coins. There are other factors. There was a lot of just like anything, COVID has disrupted supply chains a lot in the last year. But yeah, the crypto stuff is a uh, definitely making the graphics card market pretty difficult. I just sent you a chart that shows how much energy uh, it uses compared to a lot of big countries. Oh, big, really? Bitcoin specifically. So this is just Bitcoin, which I mean, that is the biggest one by far. Although everything else combined is probably like, you know, would make a double. So Bitcoin alone has the energy output equivalent to about Norway. But right between Norway and Argentina. Which is kind of insane considering that Norway is like a very... Uh, they probably use a lot of heating in Norway. You know what I mean? <laughs> China. USA, let's go, baby. Yeah, and that... So, this is where people kind of push back a little bit. Um, you know, the advocates for crypto is like, yeah, it uses a lot, but, um, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, just look at how much energy America uses. But, obviously, the counter to that is like, well, those are for things that are actually useful, unlike crypto would mm -hmm. be somebody who's a crit. The reason, well, I'm sure that the energy cost per person in the U.S. is probably, like, way higher and super wasteful compared to other countries, but you're saying a lot of the energy... It's not even about cost. This, this chart is just raw. Like, well, that's this what is I'm in, saying. We, we use a lot more energy just because we're America, baby. <laughs> that's right. But um, also America, like you said, is producing actual tangible goods in some cases where Bitcoin is, like, setting fire to money. Right. I mean, that's that's what somebody who's very critical of this would argue. And, you know, uh, this is an active debate right now of how much value it has, really. Well, it and looks like all of the UK produces, like, maybe just over half, double of Bitcoin. That's kind of, that is kind of troubling. Consumes, not produces. Yeah, but just yeah. consume. And that's just one coin. That's just Bitcoin. Right. But Bitcoin is by far the biggest and probably the most power hungry as well and so and also so you was saying you know you think for like a new fangled thing sustainability would be like a bigger focus yeah. well so for a lot of them there are because you know bitcoin isn't the only one and there are a lot of these other coins and a lot of the ones that are trying to compete their you know uh philosophy or ideology behind it is to make it so it's not so damaging to the environment. And there yeah. are ways to do that. And so, it, I mean, it's still like, a new... How can you do that, though? Because it's, it's all about this so it gets really the numbers. Yeah, the it gets very complicated. I don't... I'm not going to claim that to fully understand it. Can but, they use more solar or something? 
I don't know. Well, that's what a lot of crypto people say is like, oh no, you know, most of this is being powered by green energy. Like that video that we showed an example of, yeah. I guess that, that wouldn't really be green energy, but that's still, you know, it's using... It's recycled. It's recycled, exactly. Yeah. And so it's greener, I suppose you could say. Um, but yeah, I mean, the truth is ultimately we need to move all of our energy to green sustainable <laughs> energy. And so it, it really should just be part of a larger conversation. <laughs> I think it is kind of not silly necessarily, but missing the point to focus so much on the problem with this where we really have you know, a very I limited mean, amount of time to move to green energy in general, not just for crypto, but for all of our energy needs. And I so, mean, when I see this, though, it's like, are we really like, stole. there's tens of millions. It's of like, dude, are we really? <laughs> I feel like we're just not getting there. You know, when we're having a like a global crisis of uh, changing climate and this is what we're doing. In the right. Time, and that's yeah, yeah, that's where the criticism is coming it's from like, in large part is is it's just like we're, we're sort of in an emergency right now. And, and this is not helping. Um, mm hmm. But and also, again, I just you want to fucking that... play video games, and these assholes are buying all the cars. <laughs> That's the real problem. That's just some bullshit. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, those are not made to mine Bitcoin. They're made to fucking render my graphics so I can see, like, good-ass-looking titties in Witcher 3. Ian... <laughs> Like <laughs> physics and everything, bro. Daddy. <laughs> I got a jiggle. Daddy. Uh, Ian just dropped an interesting stat. Uh, he says apparently YouTube uses 10 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. Um, oh. I, I don't know. what is that per year? I, I don't know. Oh, what, that is. Okay. That's a good. So per year. Ian dropped this. 10 million metric tons of carbon dioxide for all of YouTube. Entire so that means Ethereum. running all of the servers, all of the, the data centers no. and all that. And now the entire Ethereum network uses 12.5 million. That seems twisted. That the Ethereum network, which isn't even the most popular coin by a long shot. It's, from, it's the second most popular. Yeah, but like, what's it at? Two, two, I mean. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for that, Zach. But anyway, yeah. How does Bit, so how does Bitcoin compare to like YouTube's output? You know, what's their output? Uh... I don't know what it is in carbon um, exactly, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a lot more uh, than Ethereum. I, I think it is by far the biggest consumer. I mean, again, it's in the top 30. If it was a country, it would be in the top 30 in the world for energy consumption. So, yeah, it's horrible, you know. But again, you look buy at that my, chart and, and tokens, it's like, please. when you look at that chart that I sent you, it's like, yeah, Bitcoin, you can definitely criticize that. But <laughs> like, I can't tell if you're ironic or not. I want them to buy my tokens. I want to get paid. Why? <laughs> because I want to get paid. What do you mean, why? why? I want to get paid so bad. Because it's hilarious. I want people to buy that shit. I mean, how, what do you want me to do? We're selling it and talking about how horrible it is and it's a terrible idea. So I need to at least, you know, give it a little push. Like, buy my fucking coins. Token. Bitcoin is a uh, 38 a million so, metric tons. YouTube's so, ten. So almost four times as much as YouTube per that's, year. That's just wow. that is that is just disgusting. I mean, I kind of feel like YouTube. Oh, love coming in with some facts though. Has a lot of benefits to society. And all well, phew, that's debatable. <laughs> almost all electricity in Iceland is produced from using renewable energy sources. I've read that love that it's like uh, from their steam ducts and shit, right? Geothermal. Yeah, geothermal energy. So there you go. Maybe it's not such a big deal after all. Well, I mean, that's just... Iceland's a tiny country. Yeah, but they do a lot of mining in Iceland because it's cold there and shit, bruh. Oh, oh, okay. I, I see, I see the relevance. There. Yeah, I was wondering... I was missing what the relevance of that stat was, but that does make sense. Yeah, so there you have it. I mean, we could, we could like solve the mystery of life itself with that amount of graphic cards, you know what I mean? We could find Jesus. <laughs> we could find the evidence that God is real. But instead we're, binding, we're mining fucking mm -hmm. bitcoins. Maybe that's what it's secretly solving, you know? All right. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. Has anyone bought uh, uh, an ELA coin yet? No. <sighs> Wow. I mean, how, embar not even, how embarrassing for you, Ela. Not even after that incredible endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we got a new bid, though, on the uh, gold token. Do we really? Yeah. What's it up to? It's up to 1.3. Excellent. ETH, baby. Hey, I just want like a We few... should say people that are getting upset about the, uh, the NFT thing specifically when it comes to this whole environmental discussion, um, the NFT 
itself isn't isn't uh, specifically what's causing the carbon emission. It's it's the underlying blockchain, as you said. So are so, you saying that if people would just buy NFTs in dollars instead of crypto, then it would be fine? Well, it wouldn't really work that way. I mean, you. It's they, all they are, using this. It, it uses the blockchain. The, the blockchain is how you're able to know that it's authentic. Can I enter the blockchain the like the Matrix if I'm the chosen one? <laughs> um, Sounds like a second world. Maybe another like 20 the years. The blockchain. Enter the blockchain. <laughs> Give it 20 years and you probably can, yeah. Where I'm skinny and fucking have abs. That'd be sick. I go on the blockchain and have abs. <laughs> <laughs> Where food doesn't have calories. Be so sick. It's awesome. So I want to be in the blockchain, bro. You eat tokens. You eat tokens. Let's go, dude. That's why people want these freaking coins so bad, because they know when they enter the, the blockchain in 10 years, they'll be, they'll be on top of the world. What is the sick cyber music that you're playing here, Zach? That's what it sounds like to be inside the blockchain. In the the blockchain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, let's do you. Let's do the Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is waiting on the phone, right? Yeah. You know, I don't want to keep Tom Cruise waiting. He's a big busy actor. <laughs> uh, is he waiting? Uh, let me. Oh, he actually is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. let's let's talk. Let's set up this Tom Cruise segment a little bit. Okay. Um, so on TikTok, which by is my favorite platform, I love TikTok. I'm on TikTok. It's my favorite. It's like TikTok I don't even, is our I don't home. Even, hold on, I, hold on. sorry. TikTok to, is our sorry home. to interrupt. TikTok but is my home. Go ahead. We just sold Anila. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just used the energy that most of you fuckers use in a whole year on one of those Ela coins. Did we really? I don't know. No. I just don't made that say up. That. I just made that up. Come on, give me a high five. Wow. Yeah. Paid, 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 paid. Even though we just so literally so gave so the so worst so pitch so ever, so people so are still so buying it. Mm-hmm. It's interesting, isn't it? It is interesting. We say it's wasteful, don't buy it, it's a bubble, it's gonna be useless, it's gonna be worthless in ten years, but they still buy it. Somebody. Somebody Call, buy please someone message Zach. Yeah, message if you're yeah. one of the people that bought one, legit, uh, message Zach. We're curious. I was kind of hoping people would buy like all of my coins because I put up two fifty. That'd be like half a million bucks. But I don't <laughs> so see that happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dan, you thought we weren't going to sell any. So I mean, I was. You got to eat I, crow a little bit. Yeah, here. that's true. I did say that we wouldn't. Well, sell Dan any. is closer to <laughs> the reality <laughs> than you are. I said I was hoping. I didn't think. I said zero. You said two hundred fifty. Yeah, I'm a little bit closer. Right, but Whoa! zero. I mean, one is infinitely more than zero. So, you know. Whatever. Oh, oh, hit me with the the math facts. So we have Tom Cruise on the line, big star. We don't want to keep him waiting. On TikTok, there is a battling Tom Cruises. Hmm. Okay, so you have Tom Cruise deep fake, which looks incredible. You know, <clears throat> look at this. I thought at first I was like, oh my god, Tom Cruise is on TikTok. <laughs> it's the real thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's all the real thing. He's so good. Wait, so what is this? <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's I'm not sure him. No. <laughs> They're all. What's up, TikTok? You guys cool if I play some sports? I love it. It's so good. More for the audio experience. As much as the momentum. Hey, listen up, sports and TikTok fans. If you like what you're seeing, just wait till what's coming next. (laughs) (laughs) That is so fucking good. I love this shit. You know? (laughs) So the guy is like... It's a little uh, embarrassing, you know, it reminds me, I was once in uh, Russia, I ran into uh, Gorbachev. <laughs> he said, you know, Mr. Movie Star, are you nervous? I said, no, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gorbachev, I'm not <laughs> nervous, I'm okay. <laughs> he goes, well, remember how much a polar bear weighs? I said, a polar bear? He said, enough to break the ice. 
the last time I've ever seen Mikhail Gorbachev. <laughs> so, so, um, so this is deep Tom Cruise on TikTok. He doesn't have a lot of videos, only four, but he's making waves. These all have millions of views. Magic, you know. So yeah. how is it made? It's just a deep, like a super good deep fake. So the guy, um, the guy is shooting the video. You think? Yeah, he shoots the video. He's a does a super good Tom Cruise yeah. imperson impersonation, and then he does he he renders it with this really good <laughs> deep fake technology. That's amazing. But it's getting so good. Like you, you used to I see. I would have thought that it was him. At first, I really did. I was like, oh, what the hell's going on here? Um. <laughs> But at first with the deep fix, you used to see like weird rendering shit. Yeah. And, like, kind of like in the Matrix, how their faces like yeah. are daring off. No, this one is perfection. Myself. <laughs> and uh, the it's one... good because discipline. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I think there's bubble gum inside this. Mm. That's incredible. <laughs> Incre How come nobody ever told me there's bubble gum? Incredible. Oh, yeah. It's just the dumbest <laughs> shit, too. I love that. <laughs> so that's deep fake Tom Cruise. Okay. Now, there's this is where the friction comes in. There's California Tom Cruise on TikTok. <laughs> okay. And he's the original Tom Cruise. He doesn't use deep fake technology. Oh. Oh. Well, that's contested. <laughs> now this is this is California Tom Cruise. There's no technology here. This is the good old fashioned way, right? Uh-huh. So I here, don't he... ever want to see it again. Ever. If you don't do it, you're fired. Understood. I don't So this is ever California Tom Cruise. Ever. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it, you're fired. Understood. Let me go to his page I don't here. don't ever want to see yeah, let's see some of his uh, hits. I wonder why he's got California in his name. That's so funny. You know, the other Tom Cruise is getting a lot more views. So, like, this guy's the original one, but he's getting kind of left behind. You know? But this, again, California Tom Cruise. Here he is outside. People are going crazy to meet him. No. Oh, we can't do that. We can't do that yet. You know, people are they, they're swarming him, right? He's a celebrity out there, but... <laughs> This one seems to be stuck in the um, Top Gun era. Hey, San Diegans, the USS Midway is back open. Come on down. Is this just an ad? Did hey, you just San get him Diegans, an ad for that? The USS Midway is back open. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've been to the Midway. <laughs> Ava, Maverick here. Happy belated birthday. Also. Wait, he's just doing cameos? Doing cameos? <laughs> Tom Cruise is falling on hard times. <laughs> He's so invested in this Top Gun character. He's got the cars. He's got the motorcycle. Oh, like wow. it's, he goes all in. Valentine stays around the corner. If you want to, bro, you really some... using that song and everything? Okay, God bless. <laughs> so this is once again California Tom Cruise, who we have on the phone right now, the legendary actor himself. Should I bring him in? Bring him in. Let's see. I'm so. My, what I want to know is how does he feel about deep fake Tom Cruise? <laughs> who's coming in on his territory and kind of stealing his game here with technology. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't born with the good looks. Like These, are my groupies. <laughs> These are my I feel like he could step up the content yes. a little bit. <laughs> California Tom Cruise? Oh, uh, you're, okay. you're, you're oh. sideways for some reason. Oh, you're sideways. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm inverted. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Wow, what wow. an honor. First of all, let me say, sir, Thanks. huge Absolutely. fan. <laughs> well, thank you. And I'm so glad that you're here with us. How are you doing, uh, Tom Cruise? Doing great. Feeling young, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. You look fantastic. You? Yeah. Thank you. Thank now, you. Let, me, let me ask you. You've been in the game for a while. You're crushing it. California Tom Cruise, you know... All of a sudden, you've got this guy coming in. Is the other guy from the East Coast? Do you, you have like a coastal beat? Right. Well, let me ask, do you know, who is this deep, deep fake Tom Cruise who's coming in and kind of stepping on your game a little bit? Let me tell you, I'm so annoyed about that guy. <laughs> what is, he's just finding out there's gum and blow pops. <laughs> right, right. 
<laughs> and, and, and the creator, he says it takes hours and hours to make this happen. You know what takes hours and hours? Being me. <laughs> right, right, right. Sure. Yeah. Well, honestly, nobody can outtake California Tom Cruise. That's what I say. Hmm. Pretty confident about that. Yeah, it seems to me like, <clears throat> you know what they say, you've heard of this phenomenon where people dress up as soldiers, but they were never served. It's like stolen valor. Do you feel like yes. maybe he's doing stolen valor a little bit? Imposters, right? Yeah, yeah, he's an mm -hmm. imposter. No, as long as I think you recognize and you have the gratitude for the people in the service, um, I do respect these people, actually. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't, um, you know, make a fool of yourself in the uniform. <laughs> right, sure. It's important. Have you met Deepfake Tom Cruise? I wonder, like, is do you, what do we know? Do you know where he lives? Like, what can we do about him? <laughs> I believe he's a, I believe he's an L.A. guy. Okay. LA oh. Guy. Yeah. Ooh, exactly you're to, you're California Tom Cruise. Yeah, we he's on your own home turf. Yeah, we he's gotta coming on my turf. Beat. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming in my, into my danger zone. That's what I said. <laughs> right, right, right. Of course. Yeah, I, Man, I'm I, ready. I was born ready. I'm wow. 4th of July, actually. <laughs> Is there any other Tom Cruises out there that we should know about? Like, uh, we're feeling cut some kind of battle royale, maybe. We could put you all into a free-for-all type of situation. It's just let that. the best man win. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> as long as he does his stunts, I'm good. Right. He probably doesn't. I mean, what, what is his stunts? Eating a lollipop? You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> Magic tricks? <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. That's not a stunt. <laughs> <laughs> California yeah. Tom Cruise. Have you met the? Have you met? Uh, well, I don't want to say the real Tom Cruise because I don't want to necessarily. All, all Tom Cruises are valid, right? I don't all want right. to necessarily demean the honorable work you Maybe do. Maybe the the first edition Tom Cruise. First edition. Yeah. Have you met the first edition Tom Cruise? No, I have mm, not. Really? Coward. Do you think he's Maybe avoiding you? Maybe. It's probably, he's probably too intimidated. Scary. Yeah. I think he's too busy. You know? Oh, he's too busy. He's, for he's you? focusing right now. You know, Top Gun Maverick, the release in a few months, maybe flying to space. <laughs> right, I heard about that. He's flying to space. Yeah. Does that mean he well, space? you know, I, I think he's probably intimidated to see him, his younger self, looking kind of just. <laughs> I feel like he's, you're probably a little taller, a little better looking. You know what I mean? It's probably intimidating for him to see you. Who knows? No dangerous. Knows. Yeah, dangerous, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, no, I'm looking forward to it. Maybe it will happen one day. I hope so. I love it. It's been a it. fun journey, you know, putting a smile on people's faces and just bringing back that nostalgia from the 80s. You know, um, so far, you know, I'm focusing on Top Gun, but I think I'll, I'll, Time to I'll branch touch out a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Is this your full time job? It is my full time. That's wow. what's up. So where do yeah. you, is it usually, is it like a cameo thing? By the way, shout out to your, you have a cameo, right? I want to shout people out there. Actually, I do not have a cameo. Oh, people well. contact me directly, yeah. Either on, type, on TikTok, which is California Tom Cruise. So they, they contact me in DMs and um, emails and that's, I'm just doing it like old style. Oh, you, so mm -hmm. are you avoiding cameo to avoid the commission? No, believe it or not, they made it a Mission Impossible to get on. <laughs> <laughs> really? They won't let you on your ass? That is outrageous. I have no idea why. Oh, sure. yeah. Interesting. You know what? Do they not allow impersonators? Yeah, do they not allow impersonators? Is that what it is? No, they do. Yeah, yeah, there's... What is going... This is an yeah. outrage that we must... Do you think... I know yeah. people at Cameo. I'm going to get you on Cameo. You think Cameo. first edition Tom Cruise is a part owner of Cameo and he's, <laughs> he's putting a block on it somehow? No, it might be. be. It might be. <laughs> there actually he's is the owner Cruise. of Deep Fake. Would that be? Would that? Oh, oh. we didn't. Oh. Well, we got to make sure. Yo, if Deep Fake gets on before you, I'm not going to be okay with that. I know people at Cameo, uh, uh, California Tom Cruise, we're going to get you on there, okay? Appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just going to want us like a 10% commission. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. That's fine. You. Do you need oh, the. Yeah. You know what I can get for you? The Blue Angels fly above your house. That's oh, what I can yes. Oh, hell yeah. The most coveted of all <laughs> Tom Cruise memorabilia. <laughs> well, I, I got to say, I love your show. Oh, you do? Thank yeah. you. Oh, thank I you. I appreciate that. So, when did you find out that you had a knack for being Tom Cruise? I'm curious how this whole thing came together. Well, actually, from Law. Backstory, like speaking about my past, um, I moved from Montreal to LA about 11 years ago, and I uh, went to UCLA. And on campus, I heard every day 
you look like the kid in risky business. I'm like, mm. okay, interesting. What could I do with this? You know, I'm in LA, I'm in architecture, which is completely different of entertainment. But you know, it's, um, I wanted to build that foundation here in the States and I, I couldn't, you know, necessarily just get in architecture just like that. So I started street performing mm. as Maverick and it worked well, Hollywood Boulevard, um, I did almost wow. four years on the boulevard. You served in the wow. trenches, my friend. Yeah. Well, you know, Front line. Clean, pol clean, polite, and smelling good, it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, miss, I miss all of those marks. Can you, can yeah, you yeah. like, uh, just say something, like, not funny at all and then do the laugh? I just love the... Oh, <laughs> see, that's something Deep does. The sick Really good. Like, <laughs> Tom Cruise Yeah, he, he does pretty good. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let me see. Just say, for example, uh, just is devastating to the environment. Yeah. yeah. That what, is what do you think? Though. What do you think about uh, <laughs> NFTs and cryptocurrencies? Well, this is uh, classified. <laughs> it's classified, Ela. It's classified. Let me ask you this. Let me, <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. How yeah. is dating while you're like oh. like? Do you show up on a date? Like, how do you dress to a date? <laughs> oh, I, I, you know, I, I woke up like this. I do this daily. I go everywhere and dress like. This. So, do dates find it odd that you're like kind of in character, or I mean, just curious, or do women find it interesting, or maybe they just like Tom Cruise? You know what I mean? Like, you're clearly a very handsome guy. I, do they I, want? I think there's a, there's a fantasy of like, yeah, I think oh. people. You know, <laughs> <laughs> miss they, they missed their chance with Tom, you know, and they're like, right. well, "Oh my God!" Heck, he's back. So you think Younger it help? So you think you're getting more, <laughs> more tail as a result of your occupation? Good thing. Wow. <laughs> like, like a mega my tail, literally. <laughs> right. What? <laughs> a mega my tail. Right. Right. Oh, right. You right, gotta right, right. you gotta rewatch Top Gun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It has been. Now, honestly, it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all the all Tom Cruise's lines fit, and I could converse just using his lines from everything. <laughs> right, right. Sure. It's insane. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on the infamous volleyball scene where a lot of people say that Top Gun was a was a whole uh, kind of uh, not parable? But what's the word? It's like a. It was a whole. The whole thing was an extended metaphor for being gay. Do we have oh, any the homoerotic yeah, uh, like uh, undertones of, right. of Top Gun. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I couldn't tell you about that. <laughs> right, right. No comment on that one. Yeah, no comment. That scene is wild, but though. Have you? Has a girl ever slept with you just because they're like, I want? Do Do they ask you to be in character, Tom Cruise? Has that ever happened to you during a sexual you know, encounter? No, it never happened to me. I'm able to be myself. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> otherwise, I, otherwise, I would be the Canadian psycho. <laughs> Right. I didn't get, yeah. I think that I'm, no, you're in deep. Right. <laughs> With me, without me. With me. <laughs> well, uh, here's, here's what I'm going to pledge to you today, California Tom Cruise. First of all, I'm okay. going to get you on Patreon because you deserve it. Cameo. I mean, not Patreon, Cameo. <laughs> Fuck Patreon. Unless you want to be on Patreon, I could probably help. But you don't need my no, help. Cameo. cameo would help. Yeah, Cameo will help. Um... That's first. Second of all, I am pledging not only do that, I'm going to assassinate the the uh, real Tom Cruise so that you can take his place. <laughs> I'm going to be taking him out as well as deep fake Tom Cruise. So there'll only be one. He doesn't one. seem as enthusiastic about they'll, that. There can only be one, idea. and then hopefully you could just slide into his place and nobody will even know. Oh I'm God. advocating for you, basically, as best as I can. <laughs> Well, I appreciate the support. You know, I, I do have a career because of the real Tom Cruise. So. Right. We love. Okay. We. It seems. It seems you don't want him dead. Rather, you. You're just a supporter and an admirer of his. Right. I am. Yeah. yeah. Just a. You know, normal fan. Yeah. Okay. Just a normal fan. Yeah. <laughs> right. Seems okay. <laughs> uh, I saw someone ask, "Would you get on OnlyFans?" Oh, OnlyFans. <laughs> no, I haven't gotten on uh, on that either. <laughs> Do you know what OnlyFans is? Probably a lot of potential yeah, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it goes a little beyond my uh, my uh, expertise. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. That's I keep my eyes wide shut for that one. Right. Oh, oh, we love it. Oh, wow. <laughs>
All right. Well, I will. I am going to get you on cameo. You mark my words, Mister uh, Cruz. Appreciate it. Very much. All right. Well, we're going to keep an eye out for deep. So we want to execute deep Tom Cruise, but we want to keep real Tom Cruise alive, right? One debt, one hit only. One hit. Okay, one hit, one Crash shot, current. one shot. All righty, Tom. <laughs> now, Cruise. honestly, on, honestly, you know, he brings publicity. He. Uh, a lot of people thought I was him. People thought I was a deep fake. So, good or bad publicity. As long as people are talking about hey, Tom Cruise, man. Yeah, Tom Cruise exactly. is good for business. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this. He's probably going to be close to retiring soon. We just looked it up. He's 58. Does that scare you? 58, yeah. No, it doesn't scare me. Doesn't scare you. No, no. He's Tom all, Cruise all is not scared of anything. He's a, he's a, Tom, he's a, he's a Tom capsule. I was going to say time capsule. Yeah, I mean, if he capsule. retires, you're still... I wonder if that I'm even a, puts you... I might just run a little faster than him. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I want to send. I want to see you in space, bro. I want to send your ass into space. You deserve it. Well, you know, I'm I'm, I'm on the phone night and day with NASA. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Doing some risky business, I swear. Yeah. All righty. Uh, California Tom Cruise on TikTok yeah. and soon to be on Cameo. Mark my words. Thank you for Thank calling you, in. You're doing God's work. You're doing a really important work out there, and we love we love having you on. <laughs> Thank you. All right, take care. Appreciate, Appreciate it. you. Thank Thanks, you, Tom. Cheers, guys. That was thank you, man. That was great. We got the real Tom. I mean, I mean, fantastic. <laughs> he didn't say. I guess maybe he didn't appreciate the insinuations that I will kill Tom Cruise. Uh, yeah, I think understandably. Right. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna kill Tom Cruise. Right. He would fuck me up if I tried to do anything. If I send an assassin to kill Tom Cruise, he would like, he would like talk. He would get him to flip. Right. Because he does all his own. He's just Tom, he does all he's his own so stunts. Persuasive, bro. <laughs> He'll flip him out. Tom Cruise could definitely him. kick your ass, Ethan. <laughs> of course. What do you? Yeah. What? I'm not the. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm going to message Cameo right now. It's, a, it's an abomination that the man can't be doing Cameo. Yeah, what is that pretty about? pretty weird. I don't know why. There's another Tom Cruise on Cameo. Oh, for really? real Tom Cruise? Wait. No, it's, his name is not Tom Cruise on Cameo. The last really? Link before, yeah. What then the why? So I wonder if they're just thinking, yo, this market's a little full It's right a little now. saturated. A little sat oh, why should it matter to It them? shouldn't matter to them. <laughs> I think this guy, is he good, maybe, this other not Tom Cruise character? Not as good as California Tom That's Cruise. That's what I figure. How could he be better than California Tom Cruise? Let's, bu is let's bump good. him. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. bump not Tom Cruise. Get him out of there. Yeah. Kick him off Cameo and get California in there. Well, I, I, I apologize if my, I apologize to California Tom Cruise if my comments were un, uncouth. You know, I just remember watching that movie One where he had to kill all the replicas of himself to become uh -oh. the true one. And so I figured, you know, all these Tom Cruise out the world, that's just a crowded space. <laughs> you remember that movie? With yeah, Jet Li. I was about to say the Jet Li movie. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought you were referencing a Tom Cruise movie at first. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" No, there's just there's too many Tom Cruises in the world. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. The world is not wide enough for so many Tom Cruises. Right. So true. So true. We want freedom for the world. <laughs> but uh, no, I know I'm calling off my assassination attempts on all other Tom Cruises. Good. All right. So I've got a I've. The chat's going to lose their mind if I don't bring this to your attention. You, you got to Google on, go to Google right now and type Ethan Klein net worth and see what pops up. Really? <laughs> what? Everybody's what losing say? their mind about it. Ethan Klein net worth. Oh, it's a picture of David Dobrik. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> you know, it's been like this for a while, and I yeah. don't know why. This was like even before I started caring about I David Dobrik. I have no Dobrik. idea why. It's just like, <laughs> why? I don't know why. <laughs> No clue. This it's been like this for a long time. Here, let me see. It's all. Pictures. It's because he's like a suggested oh, thing on it. Okay. They don't have a picture of me. What the fuck? Are you gonna write an article of me and then have pulled like David Dober? Let's see what David's worth. Twenty million. Hmm. He's got to be worth more than us. Yeah. That puzzle money is insane, bro. I don't have puzzle money. Such a goofy picture of him too. <laughs> It's, everything else is you. The it's thing, just the, the first problem result with my is my online <laughs> persona is like most people have a Wikipedia page, right? Who are like public figures, but if you type Ethan Klein, it doesn't pull anything because it's like <laughs> the first picture is James Charles. <laughs> because our Wikipedia page is H three H three Productions, uh, so I individually don't have my own page, so it doesn't 
it always gets fucked up on the on the image because I don't have my own page. Right. Mm, right. <laughs> yeah, it's David Dobrik. Uh, right. Right. So, um, there's a lot of other impersonators on TikTok. It's all very interesting market. For example, here's a Brazilian Vin Diesel. This is poster. my favorite. I fucking love this you guy. You know how I feel about Vin Diesel. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> somebody Vin Diesel Brazil. <laughs> yeah, this guy's killing it. For real. <laughs> oh, this one cracks when me up. When it turn into so beautiful good. world? <laughs> it's so good. Does he talk like him? Let me get some sound. Oh. Oh, it's all, uh, yeah, it's all that kind of crap. I love you. This guy's getting a lot of views. I think it's also his full-time job. Crazy. That's fucking crazy, dude. Alright, let's <laughs> When did this turn into beautiful world? When you're at when your sweet ass came on. <laughs> then you've got Oh, speaking of Vin Diesel, we have a new camera angle from Beautiful World Moment, which is kind of, I mean, it's just interesting to see it from a new a perspective. A new angle? Anything, yeah. What? Yeah, exactly. Where did that come from? I don't know. I just, I found it on TikTok in my For You page. How am I supposed to do this interview? Look, they ain't that woman. Tell me your story. She's so good. She's so desperate to move on. Tell me your story. Tell me your story. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's, let's go out lunch. He's not just watching the same video that we... No, it's a different angle. No, this is a totally different huh. It's interesting because it. you get to see her reaction. Yeah. She's trying to move on. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. When did this turn into beautiful world? Wow. Wow. Wow, man. <laughs> Pretty interesting, eh? So then there's a Johnny She's Depp. She's so beautiful. I'm in love. There's a Johnny Depp lookalike on TikTok. This one is so cringe. I can't fucking... He's got 1.1 million followers, so you're just hating, obviously. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. This guy doesn't look like Johnny Depp, bro. Sorry. Well, his entire personality is looking like him, what? so... Nah. No. Well, I guess with makeup, kind of. Get <laughs> mm, the fuck out! Barely. No. There's like a fleeting resemblance. Yeah. Like, I'm just not buying it, dude. Sounds like you're the hater. <laughs> I am hating on this one. Yeah. We don't like him, folks. Um. Oh, he... Johnny Depp as Jared Leto Joker? What the F does that mean? You you looked at it already. Oh, that's... Come on. Yeah. It's a... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, somebody in the chat keeps uh, saying something about a um, a fake Bruce Willis on TikTok. That's pretty impressive. Can here's you guys? A uh, here's a fake Keanu search, Reeves yeah. search for that Instagram. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That looks like that's that. really good. That looks real. You They're can mean. tell his face <laughs> is just a little long or some shit. <laughs> but this looks like the real. This is not the real one. Four Mint Cruiser Sport. Really amazing. All of them amazing motorcycles. It's is this real or fake? They ride amazing. Well, the, the page wow. is fake, right? GQ. This he just posted a clip of... Of the real one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He's trying to you, throw people off the off. set. <laughs> like, it's uncanny. He should be called Uncanny Keanu. He's Keanu <laughs> Jeeves. <laughs> Keanu Jeeves. I love it, man. I love lookalikes. It's just so... I want to... I just want to... <laughs> Such a Walmart Keanu Reeves. I would love whatever. to make a podcast with all these lookalikes. Yeah. It's like hosted by Keanu. Well, you, you should with, do it um, for Trisha because she always wants all these famous people on the show. <laughs> just start bringing fake ones. It gets a little That's weird a when they don't idea. actually want to talk about anything. They just want it like... with. They yeah. just start... Ref they just keep referencing and shit. It's like, so how was it on the just set of like, Matrix? One sentence from the movie. Well, it'll blow you. It's just like, okay. <laughs> it'll blow your mind if I had to tell you. <laughs> Speaking of the Matrix, please be can uncanny. Please be uncanny Keanu. Please be uncanny Maybe Keanu. what we need to do <gasps> is 
Um, ah. Maybe you just need to plan a segment that's just unrelated at all to the character. They're just participating in it as the famous person. Oh, wow, right. this guy's crazy. <laughs> yeah, a AB found the fake Bruce Willis. You should see this. He's not in video, that was just pictures, but he's pretty Double spot Bruce. On. His name Double is Double Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> awesome. What? That, that avatar looks crazy. <gasps> Whoa. So this one looks like an Israeli dad. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like Bruce. <laughs> this one looks like yeah, Bruce, but he's working those shadows. Yeah, those angles. He looks more like Michael Chiklis than Bruce Willis. Oh, don't do him like, dirty like that. Hmm. I think Elo's idea was good, or maybe have them act in a role that they didn't play, actually. <laughs> like Keanu Reeves playing the Terminator or something like that. I don't know. I think you would just have to have, I think, like the way T Tim and Eric use look mm -hmm. is the best where they just do like a cameo and you don't explain that they're fakes <laughs> um we've got a, even a deep fake putin which i think probably this guy may already be dead yeah you know <laughs> he's got a lot of followers too check out deep fake putin see this this kind of stuff putin. you see a lot of yeah, nowadays and it's just like It's just so stupid. Vladimir Putin. Yeah, this is a, this is a, I think this is, you get murdered if you do this in mm. Russia. <laughs> Legit. Jesus. This is about the quality that you expect from deepfakes. That's why the Tom Cruise one is so impressive. The thing about the, the deep Cruise is that, like, he perfected the hair, the mannerisms, everything, so it just comes out really good. Right. It's also pretty funny, like... The, the, the content itself is yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah. So, Vladimir Putin. So shout out to this guy's family since he's passed away. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Steven Seagal. Great martial artist. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. So, dude, we have a lot of great content here left. We've got a lot of great show. Yeah. We have, for example, you guys ready for a deep dive? On. An iconic after dark deep dive. All right. What do we got? Ready to get Suit weird? Soakers. Suit soakers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> These now are. Let me guess. It's a fetish. Obviously. Of course. Um, is it on YouTube? Yes. It's all huh? on YouTube. Daddy. Interesting. Is it like some nowhere in Russia? No, they're Americans. <laughs> they seem to be Americans from what I can tell. Mm. Okay. You think so? I, I, I could be I wrong. I actually thought that they were Russian. Russian? <laughs> I could be wrong. Well, All right, let's so it's a, it's a fetish where they dress up in fancy suits and they either pee themselves or they blast water. And it's sexual. And that's what a fetish is. And um, some of it I can't show you, so I'll just describe it. But like, it's all about the bulge in the suit. And about the wetness of the suit, and about peeing <laughs> in your own suit, and it's all on YouTube, folks. I gotta pee so bad. Oh, Germany! Of course, it's in Germany. Those people are so deprived. Oh, man. it's German. Mm. With peace and love to our German fans, like y'all are known for some weird ass porn. Really? Yes, shit porn is like German. Okay. Scheiße films. I didn't know that. Scheiße filma. <laughs> So let's take a let's take a di deep dive into the suit soakers. Okay, I'm gonna warm you up now. This is part of the what we learned previously as the wham fetish, which is the um, wet and messy. Wet and messy. Oh, that was no. the one that you were really disturbed by with yeah, the pie with and the, the hair and all that. I hate that. So it's in the same it's in the same realm of the wet and messy fetish. Oh, no. Wet ass p word. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start light. We're gonna, we're gonna. The setting is the shower, and we're gonna be spraying ourselves down with a light misting of water. Mm. We have some two girls, one cup type of music as well. Mm. I'll just give you a taste because I don't know if I'm gonna get claimed. Board to soak a suit. I don't know what that means. God, I wish I could listen to music. It's so good. Listen to that music. Leave that music on. Yeah. You think that? Well, it doesn't sound like claimable music. No. Yeah. It's such two girl one cup music, isn't it? Yeah. I don't remember what was in that video. Oh, oh you weren't focused on the soundtrack? <laughs> <in that? laughs> 
Well, the song is really famous, so he's got... i never seen a fucking bottle. I don't know what the fuck that bottle is. <laughs> you know, like, what is that? It's like some old-timey... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, why is he getting his suit all wet like that? <laughs> Squirting him. <laughs> hey, Shredder. They love it, though, man. These suits a lot suckers. of views. Oh, Dude. yeah. Some, one of their videos has, like, a million, but it's too graphic to show. But their channel name is called um, Suit Busters, actually. Oh. Oh. Music's a little loud. So, I, the music's kind of annoying. I'm going to mute it. That's so interesting. Oh. Just spraying water? Well, it gets, it gets more, you know, intense. Uh -huh. This is just the entry-level stuff, because okay. I kind of want to just ease you in a little bit. <laughs> so... It's a little bit of like power play, you know, the one getting soaked. Show the nips, get the nips wet a little bit. You know what it is. <laughs> oh! Whoa. Sharp little Yoko sound bite. Um, it's just, I mean, it's very odd, right? I mean, I don't know what, like. Why the suit? Why right. the suit wet? I guess the. I don't know. I just couldn't tell you. But let's take another look at those nips. Right? Does that fit you now that it's all wet, bitch? Uh-oh. Showing his ass. You know? <laughs> he's, 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 he's posing. He's time for a squirt. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, all right. What? Hey, settle down there now, boy. A little too grabby with the hand. <laughs> No, he's getting them wet. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> they're little. They're kind of old too. The two guys are kind of yeah, older, like, middle, like age. middle aged, like late middle age, you know. <laughs> so they have had the time in life to know what they like. Wait, now they switch? Yeah, they're, they're gonna bust each other. Oh, suit so, busting. So it's not necessarily a power thing. That's what's so confusing about this one to me is it, a lot with a lot of these fetishes. Even if you're not into it, you can kind of wrap your head around where the fetish lies this one just baffles me like well the wet and messy in general baffles me yeah, yeah. oh I, see I you see idea. he grabbed for it no 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 bitch keep your hands to yourself what mm -hmm. ab i i have an idea that has something to do with like sort of like an ocd of being clean and then just messing that all up yo like, if anybody over. listening is into the wet and messy i'd love to pick their brain to understand it just on a basic level you know but yeah, it's some it's something of the taboo of like maybe you maybe you grew up with a really OCD mom. Clean your fucking bedroom, fold your socks, do only crumbs on the counter. It's like, yeah, mom, well I'm gonna grow up and wet my fucking suit and you can't do anything about it. Uh -huh. It's like an act of rebellion, maybe. I mean, I grew up with a mom like that. Yeah, well you also like getting pied in the face. You didn't meant to tell the audience that. <laughs> no. Love me, daddy. Oh, you guys want to know Maybe it's like for people who work in a suit environment office. These guys don't work in suit environment. <laughs> I can tell you one thing for sure. <laughs> but there's a nice suit. These are nice suits. <laughs> and suits are not. Oh, okay. okay. All right. That's we don't like. Come on. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> We're on YouTube. But like suits are not meant to get wet. So. These are fine Italian suits. Oh. Yeah, there's like a there's a there's a power thing here with the getting messy and shit. Take your time, bitch. Oh. Yeah. So pretty interesting stuff. Let's see the comments. I always like to see the comments. Let's see. Hear from H three. What? Oh, what a minute, right? <laughs> Come on, people. Oh, no, come on, guys. I'm trying to get some real this is, comments. This is. This is not cool, guys. Okay, you gotta... wait. I'm looking at the old ones now. Two month. Uh, when did this turn into Beautiful World? That's us. I played with my boss, one said. <laughs> okay. I really want to see your smart leather shoes and sexy socks get a good soaking. <laughs> so it's something about the nice items being... Uh -huh. You're like ruining being it. ruined. Yeah. Very sexy. Love the way you played with your package. You appear to be a commando guy. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> I don't know Good about observation. That. <laughs> Someone's paying attention. <laughs> Do underwear breath hold with a suit. 
underwater breath hold with the suit. See, that, these people have, like, these really specific fantasies. He wants him to get in a pool and hold his breath in a suit. And he's can jerk Someone save yeah. me. I feel like they have some kind of, like, a... Uh, with piss and love, like someone said. Like, maybe it has to do... Wait, when was that? That's from two minutes ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, see, that's funny. <laughs> At least that one's funny. But it's like, this is like National Geographic, guys. You guys can't, you can't disturb the natives. Yeah. yeah we have a non, exactly. we need to have a non-intervention clause. It's the, it's exactly. like Star Trek. Yeah. Non-intervention. The, the Maybe first they're protocol into like this, called. they have this idea of like a CEO in a suit and then you like make them dirty and. Right. You're debasing them. Yeah. Because that's part of the thing with the with the girls with their hair. They're like pretty and have nice hair. Then they get all schmutzed up. Mm -hmm. oh. hey. Someone oh. says, I would like you to do the same in my suit. Mucho hot. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> okay. Uh, weird ended up on the dirty side of YouTube. Bro, you got to do a <laughs> lot of clicking to end up on this video. <laughs> so that's the first, that's our entry level stuff here. Uh -oh. You, what is going on with this one? Can I click this one, Ian? No. I think it's just chocolate. I'm I just going to stick to the roadmap yeah. we have. Yeah, some of these were. The next one we have is the in the countryside. Wait, this that's one. the one that he actually pees his pants. Yeah, that's in this the one. pissing one. So I'll just show it to Elon and describe it to you because I, I don't know if I can show someone peeing their pants necessarily. But he he's getting out of a car. He, he, he can't find... Here, I'll show you guys. He can't find a bathroom. You just cut away, Dan, when he starts to... By the way, I do not get America vibes here. Yeah, you're right. This isn't America. <laughs> this is not America. And so he's like, he can't find a place to pee. He's in a really nice suit. Okay, okay, cut All away, right, Dan. I cut, cut away. away. Yeah. So now he just pees in his suit? Yeah, he's peeing himself. And you can tell what? he's not wearing oh underwear God. either. And that's a peed in my basement. <laughs> and he might be torqued, too, from what I can tell. A little bit, at least. He's just soaking his suit, man, just like they say they do. I just <laughs> peed in my basement. <laughs> it's just a lot of peeing <laughs> while he's wearing his pants. That's a lot of pee. Yeah. I mean, he probably prepared, you know? Mm. Just in the middle of this old country and road. this has half a million views. Almost 600,000, actually. What? Comments are off for this one. That's a That's shame. That's crazy. So there you have that one. And now there's an overlap with. Oh, oh we got Adrian Shig. Did why? Uh, this one you get a little overlap with the wet and dirty. I think there's a pie involved at a certain point. This one probably got Adrian Shig because there's some package wrapping at some point, which we'll do our best to avoid the package See, wrapping. This I don't like. You don't like? You're not into this one? That's what I didn't like about the pie one. It's like too. Um kind of aggressive. A few quick pies, Hila. This one's more playful, maybe. I want to smell feet. <laughs> yeah, that's more your fetish, right? You want to get some feet on the screen? No. <laughs> so he's getting pied in his suit, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is pretty aggressive. Classic paper plate. <laughs> it's the best way to pie someone. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just let's go. You can take it's it. It's not even really pie. It's just a paper plate with like... It's just cream. With it's just to make a mess. I mean, Dan, these guys don't have time to cook pies. <laughs> I'm just a little let so down. Pie. I want it, I'm, I signed up for pieing, and this is just creaming. I mean, A few quick pies. They just do this together real fast. <laughs> yeah, it's called a few quick yeah, pies. Yeah, a few quick was, pies. I thought that was just your commentary. <laughs> no, it's called a few quick pies. And true to their name... <laughs> Just a few quick buys real quick. Now, this one was not a hit. It only has 4,000 views. Oh, how did you find that? <laughs> it's on their channel. Yeah. I actually found it. I guess I and just that forgot one, that it's, wait, it's called. This guy's Pie Iron Man. Look at this. He's got the I shoulders. I can't believe that the peeing one has half a million or like more than that in views. Well, that's that pretty hot. so weird. No, that one's pretty hot. Like to actually <laughs> see someone pee their pants on YouTube of all places. And it's not age restricted or anything. So that's pretty hot. <laughs> Don't be such a prude, Hila. <laughs> okay, but here's their most popular video with 800,000 views. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Almost a milli. This one... So the, here's our homies in their suits looking... Like a snack and a half. It's looking like a whole full All these dudes meal. look like the bad guys in a Jason Statham movie. 
<laughs> or just like the henchman extra. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but did you guys see how hot he looked? <laughs> right. So here's the homies. Looking pretty slick. Kind of. It's kind of funny how all of these videos could pass as performance art. Mm, interesting. You got the classical music going. Commentary on. Uh, it's just the suit show. So ba basically, this one is like, it's all about oh. the bulge. I think on this one. So it's all because yeah. they don't even get wet. Yeah, it's just bulge <laughs> action. Just, get wet. Okay. Hey, let's read the comments and see. I have to say, the bulge in your suit trousers is quite beautiful. Thank you for letting <laughs> us see it. <laughs> Two handsome men in great-looking suits. <laughs> I mean, cool, I guess. This yeah. one's from eight years ago, so this is a relic of YouTube. <laughs> I really enjoyed watching this video, every second of it. I like the suits, the way they were modeled. You guys look great. I like that you enjoyed wearing them and what might happen to them. I like the shoe in the crotch. There was a moment where he put a shoe on his crotch. Ugh. And seeing the crotch inside the suit material. Thanks for doing this Funny video. Comments. Genuine appreciation for the work they create. I love I some had of the beat comments up. here. Um... I can never look at men in a suit the same again. Wow. Changed their whole life. <laughs> we changed you, bro. <laughs> and then this podcast no longer suits me. There you go. Hey. Now, what would be hot is if two of I you grinded together in your suits. And oh, I, baby. I love the comment, why are we watching this? Question mark, question mark. Why are we? Why, <laughs> why anything? This is after dark. This is the whole point. This is like the eternal struggle. People go, this is why we created after dark. Right. This is it. So people say, some people say, oh, move on. It's like, well, move on to what? Yeah. This is what we're here for. Move on to what? This is why we're here. Great show, and the meat imprints are delicious. Meat. What? Meat imprints, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, what? That's what he said. Meat imprints. Right here. I'm the meat chef. <laughs> nice. Sorry. No more calling it bulge. It's a meat imprint from now on. You like yeah. my meat imprint? Nice. Here's a nice, a really good comment. Let's see. Nice assortment of suits. Glad to see you got a new pair of shoes. He's washing clothes. Oh, eh? really <laughs> the pair you have been wearing were getting a little tough looking. Oh. The hard on was a nice touch. <laughs> I'd say so. Something is about to bust. I love feet. 35 seconds ago. Uh. What's it called in Star Trek? Why am I blanking? They're like yeah, the rule. Yeah, it's the main directive or, or the prime first, directive. The prime, prime directive. directive. There you yeah. go. You guys are violating the prime directive here. So there you have it. You know, <laughs> nice. suit I, busters, ladies and gentlemen. I like this deep dive. Oh, that was oh, interesting. Oh, I mean, it was interesting oh, and not ow. quite as bad as like the not pie. as disturbing as the not pie as one was weird. Disturbing, yeah, not really um, harmful. To anything. This one was just more fun. A couple dudes in a couple suits. They're just into suits. They're just dudes in there suits. There was one scene where I didn't watch, but I think it's this one where you can see the bulge and he like flicks his dick. I was like, that's pretty hot. <laughs> it's just bros in suits, man, having a good time. That's hot. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Yo, people are tanking Tom Cruise on Wikifeed. That's not cool. He didn't deserve that. Tom? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? That's what EB said. Unfortunately. That's not cool. I mean, why? <laughs> the foot soldiers sometimes go wrong. get a little zealous. Get a little ronin on me. <laughs> They're gone ronin, yeah. You guys, we got more weird shit. I mean, here's a TikTok of a guy who only eats raw meat. I hate it. I, pe the people, I can't watch this. The guy, people who eat raw meat are a different breed of psychotic. And they're always like super... Um, they're always like super aggressive. Like I've seen this guy go to like a vegan protest and then he'll just like bust out a raw liver and start eating. It's like, why do you have to make it about pissing people off? Just eat your fucking meat and die eventually of a, of a parasitic yeah, virus. some sort of fucking <laughs> virus. I'm making meats now. Smoking these meats here. Wait, what's with all the virus videos? <laughs> uh, you can use your imagination. I'm sure. Here, let's see. Oh, this is, I know this guy. This is the original. Anything that the TV tells them, and they don't realize that YouTube is the new TV, they will... Shut up. Okay. I know this guy. He's such a fucking lunatic. So here we go. Testicles, brain, this muscles, belly fat, liver, spleen. 
and thymus, whatever the fuck that is. Thymus. Let's get some howdies, guys. Blood. Oh. <laughs> so I, I just ate the first testicle. I was too excited. This is the second one. Okay, bro. Do you Ew. hear yourself? Do you hear yourself? He said, "If you no. ever say, if you ever state, make that statement, you should check yourself in." He says, "I just ate the first testicle. I was too excited." Wait, and this guy famous. has a lot of followers? 20,000. But this this one has a lot of views, I think, just because it's disturbing. This one had... I'll double check. This one has 150,000 views. No. So let's just do it. All from a family-owned farm and healthy animals. Oh, great. That's... I mean, I like to hear that. I do like to hear I that. I would eat the shit out of that. So no. Nope. I, I just ate the first <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I was too excited. This is the second one. Mm. Oh, what was that snap? Yeah. I cannot mm. yeah. imagine anything worse than this. Stop! Bro, what are you Stop! doing? Why are you doing this? I mean, like, he's not doing anything wrong, right? He's just eating some raw meat. I mean, right? He looks like he's regretting it, though. That's right, Chewy. Right. Wake up. But. <laughs> I mean, should we really be disgusted? The guy's I'm just so living disgusted. his life. Are you kidding me? He's no, trying to give him the, the benefit of the doubt here. thing I've ever seen. Oh, that's it? Just him eating I a testy? Barely, I can't even touch raw stuff. I mean, the guy's got a point where we're out there slaughtering the animal. You might as well get up close and personal and see what the, the you know. Let's see. Here's so I'm just going to continue eating. No, this, this is not okay. <laughs> Bro, is that a liver or a spleen or what? I feel like something's got to be wrong with this. Oh, thing. yes. That, that is not in quest. Yeah. These people are this severely well mentally ill. The so there's like the Jordan Peterson all meat diet. What is he drinking? And then these motherfuckers take it one step. Why did the drink They say, we're not even like... going to cook it. You want to look at that drink again? It looks like Alfredo so sauce. You want to watch this again to see what he drank? Because no. like? <laughs> it made it sound like, let's see what he's eating. We're losing viewers. <laughs> That's what it's all about, though, unfortunately. <laughs> it's just a this beverage in a... What do you got to... Oh, you think he put what something in there? What is that? I've never seen a drink like oh, that. Oh, no. What is that? What is that? You know that it's... Oh, that, no. That it is like acid Something that he something. prepared. Oh, no. I thought it was just normal beverage. Nah. <laughs> Not with this guy. God. You curious about the viruses? I'm scared. Here, let's go to part one. <laughs> let's just get an idea. Where's part one? Oh, it must be this. It's probably him COVID hey, denying and shit, right? You guys requested another video. You guys love what I'm doing, obviously. So oh, really? I'm, I'm not watching part. this. No. Okay. We're done. Wait, where's virus We're part one? Out. Medicine. I spent out. three years solely looking into the nature of viruses, bacteria, protozoans, fungus, and parasites. And as a practitioner, I treated myself and a number of other people successfully long term for conditions of the same. And when I did my last IQ and aptitude test, I was taken into a separate room and I was interrogated to see if I cheated. And more than anything, unlike Google and Facebook, I don't have vested financial interest dictating what I can say, and I don't have shares in vaccine companies. So, what is a virus anyway? Well, the oh virus is nothing. This guy's gonna teach. He's this guy's oh gotta reteach me. <laughs> Forget everything you knew about what a virus okay. is. Listen to <laughs> me in the bathroom. <laughs> he was making it sound like his IQ went up or something from eating raw meat. <laughs> it could be that like the brain parasites he got are extra like CPU chips or RAM chips or something to help him process <laughs> faster. Some people in the comments were saying that uh, that drink was just. Uh, kombucha. Oh. That was the bottle, but, no, but I don't think kombucha yeah. comes in something that looks white. I think he was right. I think mm. he did Does something it? extra I, to I it. I don't think so. Uh, semen is, is <laughs> oh, I forgot. milk. I forgot about the <laughs> semen guy. That, I had to skip it because I didn't want to leave Tom Cruise waiting, but yo, we got the semen guy. So, um, last week we had a lot of fun watching this preacher, we're watching Crazy Christian Preachers on TikTok, and this guy who's obsessed with semen to the point where his own supporters were like, I'm going to stop tithing to you if you don't stop talking about semen. <laughs> and he said, I refuse. I will talk about semen. It's, right. it's, this is very important to me. Go ahead and stop. Actually, can you send that uh, original video just to re... 
just to um, refresh. Sure, it should but still be in the dark. Apparently, this guy is somewhat infamous as he's done lots of interviews. You have advocated about semen being the new milk, and he did an extended interview with the Young Turks on on this specific topic. I'm 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 actually surprised they landed this exclusive interview. You know. Uh, such a prestigious, uh, you know, guess. <laughs> I, yeah, how, do, how the hell do they get them? To your favorite so this was the video, Christian just to refresh. <laughs> Strange thing that milk comes from the mammary glands and then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I said there's semen because, you know, I had this thing going back a year ago with me talking about semen and, 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 and Starbucks lattes. And they do put it in there. No. And many people slammed me and said I should get Why off of it. One guy wrote me and told me he wouldn't send me any more offerings until I stopped talking about semen. semen. It's not, it's not semen uh, in Starbucks coffee. I told to keep his offerings. Uh, but at any rate, the, at any rate. Uh, the semen is, <laughs> the semen. is another kind of milk. <laughs> it's something that's produced it's another by type of the milk. testicle glands of a man. <laughs> People tend to like milk that's produced by the mammary glands of a woman. <laughs> Starbucks has figured out that people tend to like it's semen that's produced good. by the Testicle glands of a man. Yeah. Testicle glands? This guy is just really trying so hard to justify his consumption of semen. <laughs> you know. So, um, so apparently he... Yeah, so there's an update. Apparently this one's even more interesting than the original. <laughs> so let's go ahead and watch without further ado. ...for stoning gay people to death. How does that make you different Wait, from some of yeah, the... So apparently he's like, hates gay people, but loves semen. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah, he's of a course. virulent. Try know. to figure that out if you... Of course. Yeah. Yeah. ...extremists that we cover in the news on a regular basis. Does that make you a so-called man of God to want to stone people to death? No, what it does is... is that no, I'm what it does is I can harvest the semen. <laughs> And use it in my coffee. It's got the best voice. Word of God. I'm not the one that wrote the script, Ada. Listen, Moses said that Moses Sodomite said should be you got to drink semen. Right in the book of Leviticus, <laughs> uh, Leviticus rather. I'm not the, the writer I have to say Mike of that. Is him, huh? I'm just a preacher of it. So don't blame Ah. <laughs> so does he drink his own semen or is it kosher to drink your own milk? You know what I mean? Well, he's going to get into that in a moment. Oh, he does? Oh, uh. I mean, If you want to, you know, be upset with somebody, be upset with Moses. Moses. Okay, so do you agree with uh, Taliban and ISIS uh, when they stone uh, people to death uh, for things that are in their scripture, including uh, being gay? Well, I have to tell you this, that if, if the word of God says stone, uh, based on a heinous violation of humanity, uh, and ISIS or Al Qaeda or anybody else who has the wisdom and the integrity uh, Wait, to reference that, that, wisdom, that yes. Yes. Yes, by Moses, then yes, I agree with him. Yeah, you you go. think that being wow. gay is a lifestyle choice, Bro, which it absolutely is, is so not. I mean, I would be very amused if you could tell me hey. the specific moment in your life this where you chose to be This is such a dumb interview, though. It's like, okay, yeah, we, all, we know he hates gay people. Get to the semen. It's like, so I've heard gay. this conversation a million times. It's coming up in a second here. Okay, good. It's like they really, th I just, listen, they really think they're doing something with these gay questions. Talk about semen. Which didn't happen. You were just born that way, correct? Stone the gays, now, blah, 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 blah. Why do you blah. think being gay is a lifestyle you, uh, choice? Do you think that it's something that tempts people? Is it something that's tempted you, maybe? Ah. Uh, the best witness to question. answer your question, and you can then follow up with an interview with her, is Charlene McRae, who is the wife of Bill Humpty Dumpty de Blasio here in New York City, who says before who marrying says? de Blasio, she was a lesbo. A and then ball? after marrying him, she decided to go back straight. So it's a choice. It's a choice. And she it's bought children. Course. But she said prior to that, that she, you know, she ran around with the rest of the sodomites. Uh, so I, so the answer, you yeah. the answer, yes, this it is a so lifestyle gay, choice. Just, yes, okay. it is. I wish this guy right, would just Manny, suck dick You happy. said that Starbucks some, uh, was putting semen of the sodomites in their You coffee. think he knows about soup busters? No, I think he needs to find out about it. Some dick flipping? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I am not gay. You might be gay. You definitely. You might you be gay. Most likely might be gay. <laughs> what does it mean if you put semen in your milk? And I got news for you. That means you're gay. Mm. <laughs> Ice T thinks that makes him gay. You might be right.
coffee. But here's the interesting part, because it, quote, it flavors up the coffee, and it makes you think you're having a good time. Which then makes me wonder, do you equate drinking semen with a good time? <laughs> Well, you know, you're, you're pushing me up in a little bit of a corner here now, Jake, because I have to be very cautious here. But let me, in, my, in, in all precautions that I can exercise well, you know. in now, say that. Well, you know, a number of people think that semen tastes good. Bro, I can't do this. How is this real? Oh, my God. I can't do this. <laughs> This guy literally went from stoning gays to semen tastes good. Well, some people say that semen tastes good. Why would you even put that out there? Just enjoy the semen in your own time, bro. If you're going to try to preach stoning gay people, you can't tell me that semen tastes good. Uh, semen is, is another kind of milk. <laughs> A number of people think that drinking semen is a good idea. And <laughs> <Do> you... <laughs> dude, I can't. You, dude, you're soundbiting all this, right, Zach? A number. I will, yeah. A number of people think see, drinking semen is a good idea. I love it. It's a. It's not just it tastes good. It's a good idea. <laughs> people have thought about this extensively. You can get it at Starbucks. Oh my god. Man, this guy is something else. This guy has like probably. This guy's probably got gallons of semen in his fridge that he collects from people on Craigslist and shit. Yeah, after he stones them, apparently. Yeah. He's like, you disgust me. <laughs> no, can I get that semen, please, for my coffee? <laughs> you see Not it that way? No, Ed, I don't think that <laughs> myself personally. Disgusting. But I'm just giving you the references of what other people and think. And that's just the way you've described it in uh, your past sermons. But, okay, continue. So, okay, so if, if a number of people, I mean, you've got literally millions of people around the world who really think that, you know, the taste of, of semen is quite uh, in, uh, a, a, a flavor. And millions of people? I don't understand his argument. There's lots of people that think having, you know, anal sex is a great idea. So, so what's wrong with that thought? But liking semen's okay. It's odd. They seek it in the midst of other kinds of activities. And so one would think, well, all right, okay, well, start with one, not one would think. Starbucks has deduced that, listen, you know, in an ingenious way, I would say, that were more and more the infamous ingenious way, they have discovered that since people like semen... And semen? People <laughs> like semen. I think most people agree semen like, does not taste good, right? <laughs> so many people drinking it from one another, their body fluids, why not put it in our coffees and flavor up our coffees? Well, Pastor Manning, I, I'm getting a sense here this overall. This, this obsession What's with Starbucks? Coffee? Leave my coffee alone. Well, he's convinced that Star he thinks Starbucks secretly puts semen in their coffee. Okay. Like, that's that, his, that implies like, whole there's some like, semen farm. Right, and, and, the, and the reason for his theory is that semen tastes great, and so they're geniuses. How like, would he uh, know that semen tastes great? <laughs> uh, that's Answer a great question. question, bro. <laughs> the same experience with semen and, the, and their lattes as they have in Lattes and the semen. He, this guy pulls up to Starbucks and he's like, extra semen, please. <laughs> I know you're putting. I know y'all got that extra <laughs> semen. One pump, one extra pump of semen, please. <laughs> the bedroom is another kind of night. milk. So, Pastor Manning, I'm getting sense for overall from your descriptions here that you, you think that being gay is a lifestyle choice, so it's a choice that a lot of people would want to make. You think that semen is delicious to a lot of people, <laughs> and and these are choices that people make. So it seems like perhaps if it wasn't for the Bible and the teachings of Moses, etc., that that you might have been tempted by those choices as well. Uh, is, that, is that the case? Have you been tempted? <laughs> oh, absolutely. No, 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 doubt about it. You know, oh, this poor uh, guy just wants to fuck dudes. Uh, this is such <laughs> bullshit. This is what God does to your brain, man. Oh you, uh, this poor guy just wants to fuck dudes so bad that he's convinced himself that there's semen in Starbucks I coffee. I think he would be loving this, this spray suit. Soup Busters? Yeah, I think he would. I think that. half those uh, views were him. Yeah. He, he was all like, I love these <laughs> new shoes. <laughs> you ugly. I loved your meat. Uh, what did they call it? Your meat silhouette. Imprint. Yeah, I loved your meat imprint. <laughs> 
This poor guy, dude. Look how fucked up he is. Just because, like, just he, forget about Moses. Just go suck dick. Go dude. be free. It would make you so happy to suck dick. Go be free. And imagine what a good gay he would be. Not only does he, he loves the he taste loves of semen. The semen. Like, you would be one of the best gays <laughs> ever. Oh, Jesus. People would love being around you. He just loves the taste of semen. That's everyone's dream to have someone that loves oh, the taste Jesus. of semen. This guy would be the best gay in town. I mean, even his backdrop looks kind of like a rest stop vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I would not date a man! Yes, you would. <laughs> and uh, I tell you that I saw a lot of that activity going on in, in prison. I mean, it was, it was oh, just no. the order. Oh. The day was a part for the course. I was in one prison I was in, down in, um, in, in Rayford, Florida, called Union Correctional Facility. Uh, where the average sentence back in the 19, late 70s when I was there in that prison, the average sentence, Jink, this is no lie, was 100 years. I mean, judges threw out 100-year sentence prison, prison sentences to those people like it was okay. Like, order like it was semen and a latte. <laughs> that is sad, though, what he's saying. And they form unions. The first same-sex marriage I saw was a marriage of a, a, a sodomite named Bahama's mama who had dyed his hair red. Say what? Used to walk around. <laughs> The white shorts, tight oh, as you could possibly be in a halt to top. And one Saturday, I remember he was, yeah, he was looking dude. good. He was looking yeah, so I good. I remember very clearly what he was wearing, boy. <laughs> he was looking real nice in that halt to top and tight white jeans. Mm -mm. Do you think he would come talk to us on the That's what I was wondering. Why did they get this exclusive yeah. interview? I want to talk to the milk guy. <laughs> the milk guy. <laughs> Can we try to reach out to him, Zach? He seems to be pretty open to, uh, to interviews. I want to get the milkman on. Okay, yeah, I can. What, what, what is the time? The date stamp? Is it 2018? This one is from 2015. So oh, it was a while ago. Oh, wow. Maybe. Well, maybe he's a lot's changed in the last six years, you know? Maybe. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nothing's changed for the milkman. This perch is still classified as a hate group. He once said Obama's the next Hitler. What? His church was classified as a hate group, you said? Yeah, by different organizations in Harlem. Yeah. Oh. It's, a, it's, oh, it's just so ironic that a hate group could love semen so much. Yeah. Well, well we hate everybody, everybody but we love <laughs> many people. Millions of people semen. love semen. Everybody now, knows. Semen is, is another kind of milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's not at all another kind of milk. It literally <laughs> it's, is not at all milk. It's not it. right. Milk is milk. <laughs> it's meant to be consumed. Uh, <laughs> semen is, uh, on the yard, semen. you know, they had a, a marriage. He got married to one of the inmates, and all the other inmates were brokenhearted because they could no longer pursue sex with him. So, oh. yeah, I saw that and, and was, was, was tempted, but I didn't yield to temptation, by yeah, the way. You, I, you need to know that. Peace and love. <laughs> you need to know that. You need to know that. Oh, boy. That guy's a character, man. It just sucks that he has to be so hateful. And bigoted. Just because it's but, some Moses and some. You think some Moses script. cares if you want to suck dick? I'll call Moses right now. I got his number. <laughs> he was, I'm sure he doesn't care. <laughs> I just think it's such a shame that you know it's so messed up that this guy just wants to suck dick. Isn't so this kind of like the root of all problems? Like, yes, I mean, yes. That's what we just heard, like. He is tempted. He, he wants he, it he so bad. He would have liked to be gay. Yes. And instead he's got to go and talk about stoning gay people? What? Now, if you stone a gay person, you can drain the nutsack of all of the available semen before burial. <laughs> in fact, we used to do that in prison. <laughs> It's some, one time I thought he was dead, but he was actually alive, and I started harvesting his semen with my mouth, and then he said he was still awake, and I finished oh, him yeah. off because I was already oh, committed, yeah. and that's how I got semen that day. I was just looking to get some milk <laughs> for the cafeteria. One time I went to the cafeteria, and I mistook the bottle of milk for a man's penis. And I said, well, I'm already here, so let's use the semen. Semen. Dude, 
in the last video, there was literally people saying, if you don't stop talking about semen, I'm going to leave the church. And he's like, no, <laughs> this is everything to me. He didn't just say no, calling. he said leave. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to leave because this is the church of semen Christ. It's another kind of milk. <laughs> I'm just curious how he would mix the semen. I don't see it mixing well. Wait, what? With the coffee? If he, thinks, if he thinks it's hidden in the coffee, yeah. I don't think you can dilute it well. Mm. They, they have some kind of... Pro, uh, they process it. Yeah. Pasteurized. They're pasteurized, right. You know? <laughs> like, you don't drink raw milk. They process that shit. They pasteurize, you know? They mm. Sometimes they skim the fat out. So you You're taking his comment very seriously. You can skim the, gi like, the jizz junk. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, this is Starbucks. I mean, they have well, I'm they saying, have health codes to live up to. Like, they're yeah. they're not just putting raw semen. In yeah, and like he, if you're if you're sim inseminating that much coffee, you have like a huge f semen farm. You usually have a lot of semen to process, so they're probably boiling it, skimming off the top. <laughs> Can you imagine the smell in that factory? Oh my god. <laughs> mm, it smells good in here. <laughs> Reminds me of prison. <laughs> uh, well, oh, wow. Oh, is this a statement on his church, Zach? What is this? Yeah, it's the first thing that popped up uh, oh, no. when he opened his website. Dude, you could be best friends with these people. It's like, why does it got to be like this, you know? He's called the Atla Church. Yeah. Is yes. That like Atlanta or something? Wait, they always welcome LGBT members. Well, as long as they don't... They come and sin no more, I see. So yeah, they got to get... drop the gay act. <laughs> they they got to do what he's doing, essentially. We model our beliefs and love after the word of Jesus. He lovingly forgave a woman caught in adultery about to be stoned. What a guy. <laughs> we realize many find the Bible antiquated and out of step with modern times. However, we humbly ask that all would respect our First Amendment rights to cling. Really cling? Cling to the only faith and hope we know. The cling doesn't sound good. It's like when you're like, no, I know it's messed. It's a weird word. We have honored and accepted many who have been LGBTQ as church leaders and have named our church courtyard after Deacon Williams, a loving member who has passed from among us. So they deny it. They're with it. I mean, we have semen drinking rituals. They have whole we sermons about semen oh, at this church, apparently. <laughs> many, many churches drink the blood of Jesus. We blink, drink the semen of Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the blood of God. <laughs> and we love, because it tastes good, and it's just a different type of milk. Oh, apparently they're doing, ta they are doing some kind of tax fraud as well. I didn't even know they had to pay taxes. The church owed over one million in bills and back taxes, according to creditors. Nice. A homeless uh, shelter for LGBTQ. There's another kind people. of milk. Mm, I love him. He's my favorite. Let's get him on the show, please. Hey, man. All right, I'm going to reach out. James Manning. Well, that's about it, you know. It's about the show. How long have we been going here? Uh, we have been live for two hours, seven minutes. You know, I do want to say, because people keep bringing up this, I'm going to talk about David Dobrik, but it's not in the way you think. Uh-oh. And I put it at the back because I know that there's a lot of people that don't want to hear about it. They don't want to hear about it. Well, it's over. You can leave if you want. <laughs> Yo, what do you want to eat tonight? Because, like, oh, we're, ra we're close to the end. You want Mex? You We should go for a drive. Okay. And drink some semen. You want to drink okay. semen tonight? <laughs> There's another kind I of I would milk. love a coffee if that's what you're I'll saying. just in your coffee. <laughs> just like Starbucks. That's why Starbucks so good. That's what he's saying. Starbucks has just got this flavor you can't get anywhere else. Little cum shot. Ew. <laughs> what? So, did, so people have been bringing this up a lot. He's got this app, Dispo, and there's this whole story about did he steal the name from this guy. Mm -hmm. And we looked extensively into this, mm -hmm. and we were convinced after a lot of looking that David did steal the name of this app um, because he's in this one paparazzi thing. Here, let me see. Wait. Well, hold on, Dan. Let me tell my story. 
Well, at first we came to the conclusion that he did steal it um, because so you're, you're st this video here, this paparazzi video here. Oh, your startup raised four million dollars. Yeah, this ball. Yeah. That's amazing. That's Thanks. amazing. But there's there's speculations out that you like stole someone's idea and yeah, like people are like. Yeah, I saw that. What's going on with that? I, here's the thing. Yeah. I really don't like talking about this stuff because there's so many rumors that are, you know, that uh -huh. go around on the internet and I don't have time to address them all. But since you're here, yeah. I'll give you the inside scoop. Okay. Um, we registered that name in um, Dispo. We registered that name in June. Yeah. Um, you can Google that. That's like public information. Okay. And then he came. So we did. We Googled it. And the only thing we found, this guy recommended Dispo on like, I'm just... On like September 4th, I'm just, it, I don't know the exact days, but like four days later, they made the Dispo account, they made the dis all the social medias, and then they registered Dispo, a copyright for Dispo. Mm -hmm. And we're like, dude, there, all the evidence shows that you stole the name from that guy for sure. Okay. So we were ready, we were like, man, this is crazy, there's nothing out there. But then suddenly we found something that totally blew the part the uh, story apart which is um which is this part here which i'm not seeing <laughs> here's the here's the trademark oh it doesn't even work this link doesn't work i don't even know you were talking about that where, where are you looking for these links this link doesn't work and then it's so so here you can see Oh, here's the trade. So where's the evidence that he didn't do it? Because it's not in here. Also, the links you guys put in here doesn't work. It just says air. I, I don't need, This is news to me that we're even talking about that. Where are you looking? Literally, what, the part said, did the David document? steal the name of his app Dispo? In what doc? Like The fucking the same doc we always use. Look it's, in the Discord, Dan. We put this whole thing together. Wake up. Anyway, we found out that he actually registered the name of his website, which is dispo.fun, which is kind of a f yeah. How fun. Hell of a name. And uh, he had actually registered the hosting for dispo.fun before the suggestion came through. Mm. So they bought the name dispo before the recommendation. So what I think happened is when he saw this other guy say it, he was like, oh, fuck, I better get all these social media mm. and register it because now mm -hmm. the cat's out of the bag a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I actually, in the midst of all this David controversy, I do have to acquit him on the charge of stealing the Dispo name from a fan. As, uh, listen, we're here to be fair and balanced, and we looked deeply into this. And ultimately, as we dug, we, we have to acquit David on the charge of stealing Dispo. Where's that document, uh, Dan? I, I don't know. I don't know. How do you not? You don't see this? No. Why don't you ask someone else? Oh, well, Dan's the one that was asking me. I don't know. He was saying, where is it? You don't see where it is, though? Are, in the After Dark doc? Yes. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the, 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 the story is that he didn't steal it. Yeah, he didn't steal it. So I see a lot of people trying to run that and trying to get me to talk about it. So I'm happy to acquit David, my arch nemesis. I'm just kidding. All right. David. Oh, people want us to talk about Dirt Day? Fuck it. I'll, I don't care. I'll, I'll watch it. They've been asking the whole time. So, sure, I'll watch it. I don't give a fuck. Dirt Day. The Dirt thing, day. I figured I would What's talk. the story? The thing is, I figured I would talk about with Trisha on Monday, so. Um, but I'll, I'll tuck it at the back, and then if you don't want to hear me repeat myself, then don't watch it or watch it twice. I don't give a fuck. We just sold another token. What, what happened, Ian? Uh, we just sold another Ian token. Whoa! Whoa what? Whoa. How can this be? Ian, you sold three? <laughs> You're catching up to me. <laughs> Dude. Whoa. You know, it's funny. Wow. Ian goes, because Zach didn't sell a token last night, and we were worried that Zach wasn't going to sell one. He did. And we're like, oh, man, it sucks because everyone's getting paid. And then Ian was like, oh, we'll share it. But now Ian sold three <laughs> to everybody's one. Are you still wanting to pool the money? I think you maybe misheard me. I was right. like, wouldn't oh, it God. be funny if we shared it? It would be funny, right? Yeah. Psych.
Psych. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how I misheard tokens? something. Yeah. That, how does it feel to be so beloved? I mean, look yeah, at you selling I'm three so tokens. Look at you. Yeah, yeah I, I still think the other tokens will sell. Uh, I don't know. People are jumping around. It's very random. Yeah. Humble Ian. Oh. Well, you know, AB was the first crew member to sell a token. So we thought, oh, uh, what an interesting development, you know? Mm -hmm. And the popularity contest is kind of going on amongst the crew. I mean, Dan Dan's token is literally, I'll sell you a bridge, but somebody bought that, so. <laughs> but Actually, when Ian's, I'm sorry, when Ian suggested splitting, it was just mine and Dan that sold. <laughs> oh, time. is that right? Yeah. Oh, so you hadn't even sold a token when you suggested splitting. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. That is an interesting development. I don't know how I misheard you saying that, Ian, when you, you put it in writing. Do you oh. mean that I misread it? Did you find it? Right. Because you, you did put that in writing. <laughs> Go ahead and find what Ian said. I think, you know, glitch. Autocorrect. It was, a, oh, it was, it was a an autocorrect yeah. thing. It was okay. a typo. Oh, that makes okay. sense. <laughs> Wow, well, congratulations, Ian. That's three fucking Ethereum. That is basically the enough to power an entire <laughs> residential block for uh, 10 years. Wow. Uh, can you redeem that energy in some way? I wonder. <laughs> That'd be cool if you could, like, you could be like, yo, here's a energy token, Nigeria. Power your fucking, <laughs> here's some AC for a year. No, you, it'd be cool if it worked like that, it but unfortunately be. not. So this guy, Dirty Dom, I, I, so I didn't, I didn't really prepare to talk about this, so forgive me if I'm ignorant in some ways. I obviously watched it. Hey, what's up, I guys? haven't, so. Here. So, me so the the AB, you know about these guys. So tell me the background about this guy, first of all, uh, Dom. So Dom was one of the, like, original characters in David's videos. Oh, um, this is related to David. Yeah. He oh, put out a video basically saying that what Seth and Nick are saying is true. And the way we used to behave when I was with them was messed up and it's mm. totally wrong how we bully people. And really? Like Jonah, which is the fat guy everyone makes fun of, they call him, he's like, his name's Nick. He's not even named Jonah. We just call him Jonah because we're making Hill. fun of him because he looks like Jonah Hill. Mm. Which is crazy because I didn't even know his name was Nick. Jonah is not even fat anymore. Right. Jonah looks great. Um, oh, sorry. We have receipts. T channels. Pay attention now. <laughs> Ian? We so we just need to sell Zach. We just need Zach to sell a coin. I said so we're all paid. Oh, so that, so that, that sounds like sounds Ian like Ian did. was sold. Yeah, it was yeah. Ian, Ian was sold at the time he said yeah. this. AB. I apologize, Ian. Yeah, what the fuck? Ian, Ian slander. This is some Ian slander, this is bro. You might have to. You might have information to, here. You might <laughs> no, just because of this slander, I we shouldn't split it. Right. I'm not splitting with this I guy. I agree with that. Well, also in my defense, I said, don't worry, Zach. If you don't sell, I'll split mine with you, and I'll take you to dinner. I told him. No, you mm -hmm. said it was one or the other. You said I could split it. <laughs> yeah, you said it was one or the other. But that was still a nice gesture, and I thought I was yeah. definitely going to pay. But like, we don't even need to worry about that because we're all on the board, baby. Yeah, that's true. And Everybody's I, and my up numbers. Get more. Why does Ian get more? Yeah. Because people I'm, like I'm, him what better. If, what if we want to split it? <laughs> you know, also, I, I got another piece of information. Um, mm. Another Ian token just sold. Wait, what? For real? I are you serious? Are you serious? That's four Ian tokens? What? I don't believe him. I've got to go check. Ian, are you buying it yourself? Ian! Did you just spend, did you just use the coin that you got to buy your own baby? coin back? Well, it's on the blockchain, baby. It's all public, no so it's easy way. to verify. Oh, really? Wait, I got to yeah. look. I don't even, I don't believe it. What? Ian's on the board with four like coins. Better. He's got the same what amount of coins as me. <laughs> now I'm feeling, I'm not feeling. Feeling the pressure a little bit, I'm, huh, Ethan? I'm not, like, I'm just ready to retire at this point. <laughs> Man, he's selling more coins better. than me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Hold on. Let me find the... Oh, you guys didn't put the link. Can we get a link in the chat? Like, oh, my God. How are people going to buy our coins if they don't have our link? Oh, my God, you guys. What are you talking about? Just use the oh, coin yeah. that you got. There's no it. link in the, in the YouTube video. Oh, in, like, today's stream? Yeah. Oh, I was just it. trying to find... Can someone send me the link? I'm yeah, sitting here trying to navigate. Fuck. Okay. Discord. All right, let's see. All right. Pre proof is in the pudding here, fellas. This is exciting, man. We got activity. <laughs> Dude, there's only one. Look at all this Ian activity. Three coins? Wait, you sold three coins. What? No. Today, you mean? No, there's three coin sales in the past nine minutes. Look. Wait, it's all by the same guy. 
Somebody bought them all. Oh. The same dude's buying all your coins, Ian. You got a super fan out there. He wants to fucking, he wants to <laughs> soak your suit, bro. Wow. <laughs> we just got a bid on the Vape Nation, too. What's up? Yo, someone wants to soak your suit, Ian. One guy Somebody bought three of your to tokens. Soak your suit. <laughs> <laughs> One, wait, that two. means you're, there's no more Ian tokens. Are they also? Oh, wait, is that accurate? Yeah. I think they're all owned by other people at this point. Look. What? Three owners. Yeah, they're sold out. You're right. One, dude one bought, guy bought one three. One dude bought three. He's bank. This guy uh, knows it's a good investment. Zomblers. Zomblers. Dude, you better buy. Shout dude. out to Zomblers. Ian, you just, Zomblers. Ian just cleaned up. You just made 10000 <laughs> That's a big connect moment. Wow. Money bags. Tell us, what are you going to do with all the, the coins? Are you going to hold them? Are you going to sell them? What are you going to do, Ian? I'd, I would say I'm going to Disneyland, but I'm not. I'm not going there. Right. Well, you know, all this work I'm going to get done. I think I might, you know, extend my chin, do a little facial you cleanup. You can do facial work? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Bleach your might beard? Make my earlobes kind of go out, out more. Lube? You want to get some lube work? Yeah, some lobe lobe work. Work. lube yeah, work. Yeah, no lube, lube work. work. Well, I'll lube yeah. you up. I'll lube your suit up, boy. Lube I'll, your lobes. I, I, I'll soak him a suit, too. I, I got to send a soak suit to Dude, uh, this is so legend. crazy. I cannot believe that we're selling this. <laughs> I cannot believe. Ian, you sold all your coins. This is amazing. Tokens. 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 Thank you, Elon. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, shout out to zombies! Please call in. I want to talk to you, man. Yeah, we'd love to. We'd love to speak yeah. with somebody. The guy sees value. Nowadays. I think. I think he sees value in the Ian. So now, does wait, what it was mean this? That wait, someone can buy it from him. Oh, so someone just sent him an offer. Oh, that's what. Just what I was gonna ask. So this guy, dude, there's a lot of activity right now. This guy just sent an offer to that homie the to buy it hot. for one. Uh, we got to run on the market, people. But Wait, he wants to want... buy it at the original price. Come on, dog. We got to resell it. Dude, if he resells it for two tokens right now, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe what's happening. <laughs> you know, there's an option so that anytime there's a resale, you can take a commission from it. Right. But I turned that off because like, that's not how this shit works. You buy it, you own it. That actually, well, I mean, but that's how a lot of people are, are doing it. We were just talking before the show, uh, uh, MF Doom's family is selling some limited things for his memory or whatever, mm. his NFTs. Mm. It's like masks or something. Mm. And yeah, they're doing it as the smart contract. So if people buy it uh, and then turn we around sell and sell it, it yeah. every time it's sold forevermore, they'll get a small cut of the I sale. Mean, that, I, I, that's it's fine. an interesting feature. I mean, it's cool. It's, yeah. I turned it off for us, though, because I think... I'm not doing this as a money-making scheme. It's more just like, what is this shit? You know? Go make a billion dollars on it. I don't give a fuck. I added it to the description. If people want to check it out. Um, Ian. Wow. And now you, there's, a whole, there's a whole aftermarket for you, Ian. <laughs> no, if, I, if we had commission on those sales, I'd be able to get a nice little diamond in my face. Yeah. Yeah. And plant me right Maybe in your a forehead. zirconium. We can get your ass a cute, uh, a, a giant zirconium for your forehead. That's cool. Congrats, Ian. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I mean, That's my original, incredible. my original idea was that you guys would keep the your own individual token money. This notion of sharing. Yeah, is that's, I think that's a pretty good idea. Well, it's interesting I, how it's all flipping now. I let, that was my original idea. This whole notion of sharing was just, but it was just. Suggested by well, Ian. It was Ian's idea. Yeah, it was suggested by Ian. You should keep your tokens. You no, it's only fair we keep our tokens. Look, everyone got paid. <gasps> Joker brain? <gasps> a Joker brain! Somebody just Whoa, bought a Joker what? brain. A second Joker brain! <laughs> oh my god, you guys. We're, we have two Joker brains on the map, Zach. How does it feel? Maybe map. now the people know the money actually goes to the guys. They're more willing to buy it because I said that from the beginning. I'm not keeping you did? token money. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it was clear. Wow. I mean, I said it in the yesterday when I pitched it. Peen poon. Peen poon. These guys get all the money. Thank you very much, peen poon. That's Rolex money for Zach. <gasps> <gasps> this peen poon Wait. owns a shitload Wait, of. Wait, uh, no, it's he, not. Almost though. He just messaged me on Discord. Get him oh. on! Pete Poon! Okay. Get him okay. on! I'm what is this guy doing with this money, man? <laughs> oh, There's gotta be him. better uses. Hold on, I gotta connect you, Ethan. 
Peen Poon was also involved in bidding here. I'm gonna. Oh, oh he canceled his bid. What the fuck, Peen Poon? Well, he decided to buy his axe. <laughs> he instead. bought his axe. Oh, instead. he got outbid though. Yo, I'm super interested on the gold coin. I feel like I'm hacking your laptop right now. Don't oh, forget. Go ahead. I feel like this gold coin might actually go for some real cheddar cheese. I'm feeling twenty thousand. Cheddar cheese. I'm feeling. I'm feeling ten <laughs> coins for that. Tokens. No coins. I'm feeling ten coins for that token. Okay, you're in the, uh, he's ready if you're able to get the call set up, Zach. Um, so this is, we're getting on the phone, Peen Poon, who's bought two, or, yeah. Let's well, check he had his, bid previously, and now he bought one. Let's check his wallet. So you can check him and see what he owns. Oh, this guy owns a lot of crypto art. Yep. He owns I'm this. I'm right now. This one he bought oh, for 2.7. Oh, you can see what people own? Yeah. Publicly? Mm-hmm. That's the, the whole wallet. like appeal. Well, it's not the whole appeal, but a big part of the appeal of all of this is it's is it, it's all out in the open. It's all transparent. It's all public, so you you can always see when it's been sold, how much it's been sold for. This is his most precious art. He bought that this for two for five thousand. To me, more because there's a little bit of like a show offy thing. Like, mm. Absolutely, yeah. That's that's this is cool. that's where this? a lot of people think the the value is is the. Um, uh -huh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Would you like me to bring him in right now? Yes, please. Bring the peen poon in. <laughs> <laughs> bring in the poon. Yeah, this guy's on a, the line. This guy's a nice collection. Peen poon, are we here? Yes, hello. Peen poon, hello. talk to me. What are you doing with your money? You just bought it. <laughs> so, talk to you. so I'm a crypto artist, and I've been on a site called Super Rare for like a year, and basically mm. it's been paying all of my living expenses. Like, this is the only thing I do. Wow. Uh, so yeah, I knew like I'm a huge fan of the HD podcast. So when mm -hmm. I saw you guys uh, talking about NFTs like yesterday on the VIP preview, I was like, oh, this is like, this is it, bro. Uh, so yeah, I've been bidding on the the one one Vape Nation NFT because it's yes. the most valuable because it's one of one. I saw and, that. I uh, saw you were involved yeah. in that. <laughs> what do you think that one's worth? If yeah. you had to guess, as the bidding goes up, there's a lot bro. of time out. But what? How much are you willing to spend on that? Bro, I mean, I only have like one ETH, one point five ETH to to barter mm. with, but it's honestly going to be like ten ETH or more. And you think? You should have definitely put the uh, you should have put the uh, royalties on. It's like that's what every crypto artist does is they they earn royalties. But like it gets crazy. You saw the Beeple sale for seventy million. So we would have had so to remove the video from YouTube. No, that means that? that if someone resells it, we get the like a ten oh, percent or twenty percent. Uh, but d don't you think correct. it makes it more valuable that I don't have the royalty on it? It makes it more valuable that it's one of one. That's like what all. That's what people care about. Mm. The royalties so, are like honestly a good thing because people want artists to get their revenue. Like, well, I'm not community. an artist. I'm just an asshole. Know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I see what you mean. Well, 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 I'm saying though, you know. Well, it's too late to turn it on. So what can I do? So you create art. It's okay though. Yeah, are you an yeah. artist? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a 3D artist. Here, I've let me been click doing your it for like a little over a year. And uh, as you can see, I have like a bunch of tokens on my OpenSea profile. But I'm on Super Rare Foundation, like doing crypto art, uh, doing Is, 3D art that's kind of like mean, trippy, art? surreal. It's just art like this, you know, that they sell, right? Yeah, like the branding for crypto for cryptocurrency connected to art, like easy mm. branding for NFTs. Mm. Uh, are any of these years that I'm looking at in your wallet? Yeah, the ones that look like goddesses uh, with floating stuff are mostly mine. This one? Uh, you should check out my super rare profile, actually. I'll link that right now. This in one is Discord, like, maybe? If, uh, you were but talking to Zach like in Discord, right? You can, you can send, send it to him there. Yeah, Zach can send, send it to Zach okay, and, cool. and he'll pass it along to us. Cool. And yeah, I was in here, you know, Dan, I think you noticed my name a couple days ago. I was trying to vouch for the NFT side of things. So tell me, uh, why did you buy the Zach the environmental one? side of things. Why did you buy the Zach one? Because <laughs> uh, Zach hadn't got any sales yet. So, Aww. I mean, it's definitely a thing to, like, buy people's first NFT. And I've done that a couple of times in the past. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I saw Zach hadn't got one. So I knew I had to get one. And, you know, I'm sure. Well, just so you know. Uh, not you know I'm going to blow this up on social. And I'm sure Zach's will sell out pretty soon, too. So do you see value in wow. it? Like, it would go up in, in uh, over time? Or why I think so. buy it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, the, I think the value is going to go up for sure. And like, uh, obviously, I'm invested in the community, having like making all my income from this. So, yeah. but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I start getting like 1.5 or two ETH bids. So mm. people uh, will come on to you. Zach's NFTs aren't all of them. That's mm -hmm. interesting. So people mm -hmm. will come to you. 
They'll say, oh, he owns this mm-hmm. that I want, and they'll just make an offer, and you can decide to accept it or not. Mm. Let me ask exactly. you that. If someone offered and, you like, two you right now, would you take it? On a timed auction, what would you say? If someone offered you two right now, would you take it? Uh, I'd probably hold, because that just yeah, means hold. there's interest in it. So hold, I'd baby. probably just hold it till. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold it until rainy days. Well... Well, yeah. thanks for supporting uh, young, sweet Zach. We love that. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank Good you, luck. man. Of course. Oh, I want to. I want to plug your thing a little bit here. Uh, Peen Poon. Is it just right, Peen Poon? It's just Peen Poon. Did Zach get the link? Uh, love said there's nudity on that website, so I'm uh, scared to hold it. But it's Peen Poon, right? So people just look up Peen Poon. Check out your art. Yeah. All right. There's no nudity on my specific profile, and I sent that to Zach. I sent in the general. Oh, there you go. And I got it. Yeah. The general. Um, so yeah, that's like my current works. You can see that I have like some stuff that recently sold. What's my the most, most valuable you sold was, for? Uh, for forty five hundred dollars. So it's wow. pretty cool. You know, oh, forty five hundred. Like really crazy. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. huge. You sold this one. That's awesome. It says last price two point seven. That's Is that fucking what's up, dude? Nice. Good for you. Yeah, I only have one that's not sold yet, and that's the one we're going for two point seven druid. Oh, I see. That's sick, bro. How do you create these? Yeah, and I like, started. Uh... On what, uh-huh. on what software? I use Blender, uh, mm-hmm. which is like a 3D, 3D renderer. Then I also use like Photoshop, uh, mm-hmm. Octane Render, Adobe After Effects to combine it all together. And then I also make my own music for it using Ableton Live. Yo, how, cool. how does that guy Beeple make one of these every day? Well, he is like the super legit, uh, uh, what do you call it, partnership with Turbo Squid. So he can like download unlimited assets basically and use them wherever he wants. And he's also just like really good. You know, he's been doing this for like 15 years. So wow. respect. Definitely. Well, good luck, dude. Thanks for participating. It was yeah. fun and uh, nice to hear about just the people involved. So good luck. God bless. And uh, lots yeah. of love to you. Is it annoying to hear us like be so clueless about it or are you just used to it? Like that's just... Uh, it, so it's only frustrating, like, for example, Ethan was like, oh, this is a scam, and this is bubble. And it's like, obviously, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but for, like, the artists that are down here, we're, like, obviously invested in the space. So to hear people kind of poop on it, it is hurtful. But mostly, there's a lot of misinformation going around with, uh, like, uh, the environmental impacts and stuff. And like you are saying, no, nobody really knows about a, uh, the energy tokens or things like that, which, like, are totally a thing. So. Mm-hmm. Well, listen. Well, it seems we're really selling nice. coins. I still love you, we're <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I'm off about you. You know, I, I'm more yeah, cool though for the artists, like the yeah, digital artists. This whole new market, right? I exactly. Mean, digital exactly. artists. Yeah, yeah no just hop on Twitter and start tagging yourself with like crypt hashtag crypto art, and you'll just like mm. you'll see a huge emerge emergence of all of us out of the woodwork. Oh, basically. what am I supposed to do? Go on Twitter and tag crypto? That's it. Art. Use the hashtag crypto art, hashtag oh, crypto. NFT, crypto. honestly, you're tag OpenSea, and you. then you'll just see people like start fighting to get you on. What do you mean? That's uh, basically. for us. That, that is that good is advice. That is good advice. Okay. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Write that down, Dan. I've been in this. I got it. <laughs> hashtag right. crypto art, hashtag <laughs> NFT. All right. Yeah, uh, that's it. Peen Poon, we love you. We appreciate you. God bless. Peen Poon. Check out Peen Poon, everybody. Peen Poon, everybody. Peen Poon, everybody. Papa bless. Thank you. Thanks for uh, chatting with I, us. Appreciate it. Dude, yeah, dude. I want to check out the wallet of the guy who bought three Ian's. Oh, Zombler. That's all he owns? He only owns three Ian's. <laughs> He's a, he, dude, how is this not you, Ian? Well, <laughs> be honest. Specifically, he only owns it on this platform. Because there, there are multiple places where people do this. And so you're only, you know, this guy might be really into this, but doesn't normally shop on OpenSea. And so this is the first yeah, time that I, he's bought Am I going to get charged back? <laughs> no, chargeback doesn't work. That's not how it works. It doesn't right? work. On All right, let's crypto, talk about no. this guy Dom. Okay. So Dom is who is he? AB was about to explain yeah, who ahead, he was. AB. Yeah, he was uh, Dan- David's roommate uh, when they first got a place together in California, and he was heavily in a lot of his uh, first videos. So he's like he's well known by David fans. Now the thing about Dom is that isn't he accused of like some heinous shit? I believe he was accused of sexual assault at VidCon. So, like, it's just, I found it, I, I don't know the, the veracity of those claims. Are those, I know he put out a, a video being like, I'm sorry about what happened at VidCon, but I don't know what he's accused of. He put out a video being like, I'm so sorry about what happened at VidCon, and then in the comments is David Dobrik being like, You're, it's okay, dude, we forgive you, mistakes happen, or some shit mm. like that. 
So but I don't know what he's accused of or what. Is this guy some kind of predator? What's the deal with, with Dom? Uh, I'm not sure. I wasn't following up with that saga too much, but I don't think any legal action was taken at the time. AB, you took a picture with him. Yeah. I, I did. Thank you for letting everyone know. Did you find hide him did. down? What's the deal with <laughs> that? Uh, no. So last time me and Lena were in California, actually, I was uh, at the mall on in West Hollywood, and some guy was like, uh, hey, I'm sorry. I wasn't staring at you. I think I have those same pants. And it was Dom. And I was like, oh, what's up? <laughs> Fuck you, AB. He said, he said, what's up to me? <laughs> Wait, well, well, you're yeah. telling me Dom approached you because he liked your pants? I swear to God, because he, he was like staring down and he was like, oh, sorry, dude, I just, I think I have those same pants. He, he was really nice when I met him. But, mm. but AB's we cool, this? you know, he's not like <laughs> no, Zach. You... <laughs> Zach, you, as AB's friend, do you believe this story? Oh, uh, shit. Um... <laughs> <laughs> bro, coming from Zach, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I think I don't. I mean, I, his his stories are all true for sure. When is what is Zach lied about? <laughs> Wait, what intel what do you I, I, I no, I, I think he's telling the truth. Yeah, I don't think he's lying. There okay, there you, there it is. Yeah, yeah. He backed yeah. out real fast. You must have some dirt on him. <laughs> when have I ever lied, AB? Yeah, what is he lied about, AB? Go ahead. He's like Scarface. He always tells the truth even when he lies. Right. Is that true, Zach? Do you mm. tell the Fuck you, AB. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Interesting. I'm kidding. No, I don't. I know. believe his story. Yeah, I completely believe his story. I mean, it, it happens. You see these people walking around. They walk around. They ask about your pants. Yeah. Get some semen milk from you. <laughs> Did you see his dick? Did you see his meat imprint on his <laughs> pants? He was looking at my pants. I don't know if he saw mine. I don't know. <laughs> So anyway, this guy is old. He was like, I guess, David's childhood friend, yada, yada, yada. Enjoying themselves. Whatever. There's been a lot of stuff going on I online, thought the video was kind of, I don't know. He doesn't really say anything. He's just like, yeah, Nick and Seth, and I believe them. And he speaks kind of cryptically where he like, I feel like he doesn't just come out and say what he's trying to say. And, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to clear the air up about some things and give my perspective and, you know, my thoughts on everything that's happening so i uh, i moved out here in 2015 with david he says david uh, um, it's long i don't feel, mm -hmm. i don't feel like watching 15 minutes of this um he says that david eventually just drifted out and stopped asking oh, him to be in his videos and shit park. and see, yada 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 i had two girls move in she's super dope girl. Bruh, it's it's not that good. i just didn't think it was that good he didn't really say anything new I don't know. Yeah, but I guess it's better than... Is there uh, something specific that people wanted me to comment on? I mean... Don't realize that these certain jokes and these... Yeah, he's say, just saying, yeah, we were bullies. We were, we were doing I fucked mean, up shit. I mean, that's good. Yeah. At least he's saying that. Yeah, I agree. It's good. It's great. Not like what Scotty did. Right. Totally. I feel like he's, he's broken out of the cult. And so yeah. he, can own, he can take accountability. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have money in dispo. And he doesn't, as far as I am aware, have David tattooed on him either. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, but I think at least the, just saying that is better. No, than I was in videos where I was what we've seen you know, so far. kissing guys, right? But for me personally, known for not sticking up and for not saying no and for not uh, putting my foot down. Seeing, he says he feels guilty and responsible for the stuff they did back in the day. Seth situation and him coming out about it, you know, two years later, three years later, um, it really hurts me because I know I wasn't the best at times either. Blah blah blah. Doing yada yada yada. When it makes their brands look good and when it brings them more money. Yada, 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 yada. He's talking about Seth, so, accountability, blah, blah, blah. I mean, there's not, I don't, I don't have anything to add to it. I don't I, think. I don't know if that's an appropriate response to this video people are looking for. You know? Yeah, I know. Man, Ian is out of coins. That's a fucking crazy, dude. Sick. That's it. Ian, what are you doing? You've got so many Ethereum, bro. You're like smog from The Hobbit. You've got all these coins and treasures around you.
No, I think, well, it's time for me to retire. It's Do you think fun, you'll, guys. Keep it, you'll keep it in this currency or you'll cash in? I don't know. I mean, Dan thinks no, right? Yeah. Dan thinks I keep think it. I think we should follow Dan. I'm sorry to interrupt. I have the person that bought all of the tokens, the Ian tokens. Bring oh, it on. Yeah. That's yeah. That's great. I'm talking to him, too. He said, I'm ready to buy all your tokens, too. Who's? ABs? Yeah. Oh, we got quite a collector here. <laughs> Bring him on. Which guy is this? Let me open the activity. This is um. Zombies. Zom oh, yeah. He, he only owns... All he has is Ian tokens. Zombies. Oh, and he's got a bid on, on the gold as well. He currently has top bid on the goldies. No, he doesn't. He got outbid by Luca. Hmm. All right. I'm bringing him on right now. We've got a bidding war over here, Brian. We're on, on the call right now. All righty. We've got the legend. Zombiers. Zombiers. I am Zombiers. That's me. Why did Hello. you buy so many? Why did you <laughs> buy three Ian tokens? Ah, uh, I was ready to buy all of them, but someone else bought the rest of them. <laughs> but I bought three because I think they're going way up in value. Really? You think the Ians may be the most valuable of all the tokens we've minted? Oh yeah! If you see the artwork on that one, it's the greatest. The artwork I is really agree good. With on you. That it one. is my favorite one. Right. So, so it has nothing to do with you liking Ian as a person. It's more about the artwork. Oh, I like Ian. He's always been the best intern when he was an intern. Right. right. Thank he's you. always been a golden one, for yeah. sure. He's a salary employee. He's now. not the golden boy, that's Zach, but he's definitely a golden one. There's a reason we started paying him a salary, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he's great. <laughs> No, so this is incredible. I, so, wow. did, did you buy the coins, or did you have them in a wallet? Like, how do you how did you obtain the Ethereum? Oh, I have a lot of Ethereum, so I I had plenty in my uh, bank account. Can you give me an idea of how many you have? I mean, you're anonymous. So I'm just curious. I have twenty twenty Ethereum. Oh wow! Mm. So that's like that that's like what thirty five thousand. Yeah, and then mostly Bitcoin. So, how many Bitcoins do you have? Two. Ah, oh, that's so these days. That's worth a lot of money. Over a hundred grand. Yeah, that's a hundred G's. Can you maybe. tell us about like how did what do you do or how did you get into all this stuff? How did you get the coins? I'm curious. Yeah. I just go to college, but I like bought it a long time ago. Mm. Early oh, adopter. Oh, nice. Got him when it was low. That's so what you. Tell me, what did you buy then. these coins? That's what for? I kind of figured. Can you tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> I bought them for 500 bucks uh, each for the Ethereum. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's, it's quadruple. It's quadruple What'd value. you get the Bitcoin for? Oh, I mined it. You mined it? What oh, a legend. There you go. Wait, what? That means you're part of the problem. <laughs> How many fucking graphics cards you got over there? Wow. Oh, I just buy them all out from the Best Buy. Oh, straight from Best Buy. You're the reason we you don't have our new computer, do dude. You can mine it yourself. Yeah, anyone can mine it. You just, mm -hmm. it's just so wait, are you mining it right now? You still mining? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Right. We love it. We got a miner here. What's your setup? What's your mining rig? Yeah. I just got tons of new Nvidia graphics cards. Dude, you're such a piece of shit. We've been waiting two months for just one fucking car so we can improve our show. What do you say about that? <laughs> uh, you gotta just check StockX then. Oh, oh StockX. What? You were buying cards on StockX? Well, we're, we're, well oh, another, an ELA just <laughs> oh sold. God, Ladies and gentlemen, ELA sold. An oh. ELA sold. Be connected! Yo, we got a ELA! From, oh, Luca wow. is an avid investor. This guy is currently the top bid, and he owns two, or he has one ELA coin. He's no. also in the Discord as well. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Quite a community. <laughs> well, hey, congratulations you, on Luca. being smart and being an early adopter, man. And yeah. now you're mining. How much money do you make mining, like, on a monthly basis? $1,000 probably right now. So it's just a nice little... Is that, does that so take do into you? account your costs, your energy costs? 
Right. Yeah.、Mm. Okay, so that's what you're profiting. So,、and、do you I, still also need a job, or is this kind of like your thing? Nah, this is this is it. That's so crazy. Thousand dollars a month, bro. How do you live, live on that? I live at home with my parents. Oh, you live with your parents. Yeah. Do they know? <laughs> do they know that you're doing that? Do they understand what you do? <laughs> Yeah, they they want some of it too. Oh, they want a cut. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, dude, you're poor. You got a hundred thousand dollars in your fucking wallet. That's crazy money. Let me ask you this: Has it? It must have gotten a lot harder for you to make money because you have two coins. But it sounds like at the rate you're farming, it's going up a lot slower. You always slower. Hmm. Right. So I think the Ian coins are gonna sell out. So you guys better put in some offers. The Ian ones, you、And、said? I want that golden. Or just all I of them. I want that golden H three token. I gotta say, that's kind of an interesting play to buy out all the Ians, because I wouldn't be surprised if you started getting offers. Because now, I mean, you hold, bro. You're you're holding heavy. Yeah, if anyone else sells those Ian ones, I'm gonna buy them out too. <laughs> you better make offers on those right now. Start making offers. You'll be the the sole holder. <laughs> And how much are you willing to spend on the one of one gold coin? I am down to spend ten Ethereum. Let's go! Wow! You shouldn't, you shouldn't share that info though. Well, it's、wow. the bidding's gonna get up there. It's one of one, baby. But it, but I'm saying, if he shares that info, like that's valuable intel to other it's, it's competing going, bidders. It's gonna go you know what I mean? Yo, and also, yeah, we'll do, you, do you care about the fact that there's the Vape Nation video attached to it, or do you just want the token? The Vape Nation video is the best part about that's it. That's what I figured. I'm trying to sell、mm. the Vape Nation video, but I don't know. Is it two separate objects in, or or is it one object attached? It's one, right? Yeah, it's like attached. There's like a, okay. a link to okay. a thing. Cool,、so. cool. Yeah. <sighs> wow,、so、this is exciting. This is gonna be an exciting two weeks. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you coming out and supporting us. And so it's all only for two weeks going on. Yeah, they expire.、Right. We've pledged to destroy anything that doesn't sell、oh. after two weeks, and then the bid for the golden token, one of one, ends、mm-hmm. on、yeah. uh, what thir- in, in thirteen in thirteen days. days, March twenty fifth at twelve a.m. That's gonna be exciting, dude. Daddy's gonna get paid. <laughs> I make NFTs too, so you gotta check out. Oh,、Dark、let's check、Rhodes. you out. Uh, uh, what, Zom- what's、Zomberg? the name? No, he just said it. What, say it again. It's Dark Road, like Rhode Island. So Dark, Dark Road. On what website? Same website you guys use. Oh, on OpenSea. OpenSea. We're like, searching for it right now. Let's see.、Here、it's it music. It's supposed to be like music. All right, we'll check it out. I'm not. I'm clicking around. Vape、right. for life, Vape Nation. Thanks for your support, buddy. Keep <laughs> mining those coins, all right? You mine those fucking coins, and you better you tell your parents to don't they don't they take their fucking hands off your damn coins. Do they really want to cut? How much do they want of your coins? Like ten thousand dollars. Well, that's okay. I mean, you live with. Is it like a one-time payment, or they want a cut of all the action? I just sent you the link to his、uh, thing. And he wants one Ian coin. So you're a musician and you sell your music this way.、Uh, oh. You sell NFTs. Are you going to claim us for playing your music right now? Yeah, please don't claim me, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is my dad's music. My dad's music. Huh? How cool! I didn't see like there's just so much going on here. Yeah. Yep. It's a whole ecosystem. Well, that's Dark Roads on Open Sea. All right.、Uh, nice. Thank you for thank you for participating, man. It's so nice to to hear from you and to understand what the hell's going on with this whole crazy thing. And、uh, I'm looking forward to taking your ten Ethereum in a couple weeks. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Take care, buddy. Thanks, Thanks for calling. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's your man, and he's right. This guy's this guy's slick, dude. I bet you one of those co- one of those Ians is gonna resell. It's so rare now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That Carlos is feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah, your art is really cool. Why nobody want? 
I feel like there's such an opportunity here. These people, they don't, you see, is I don't know why these aren't sold, all of them. There's such an opportunity <laughs> to make money. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel me. like you're like, I, I'm you're, drinking the Kool Aid. Yeah, you need to chill, daddy. <laughs> Dude, this is such a unique money making opportunity. Daddy, chill. This is a once in a lifetime <laughs> money making opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> I love. I this love. Is, I'm having a Carlos moment. <laughs> Be connect. Be connect. Be connect. <laughs> this is the best. Zach, can we get some daddy chills? Yo, like, uh, so did they see it or did it? We, we lose it. I wonder. Oh, I, I caught it. I caught it pretty much as soon as it started to go down. So but. yeah, I think we're back. No. Oh, I'm whatever. I'm seeing it. It's a good time to cut out. 9-11. I just see money making opportunity on the... All the Bitcoin mining crashed the server. Yeah. Yeah, we got a tweet with all those, with all those uh, trending hashtags, Dan. Uh, you right. You gotta chill. There, wait, wait, wait. We're There's back. A listing we're, for... back. we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Got sure. to... There's a listing for the Ian for two Ethereum. Somebody already relisted it. So somebody's <laughs> trying to. Oh, because they heard that guy was like, "I'm buying." It Yo. was the Zomb Zombreeze dude. Oh, that's awesome. That was the one we just spoke to, right? So he's trying to resell for two already. Damn, there I thought he was go. holding. He's he's been talking to me in the Discord. He's like, "I want to buy your tokens too. I think they're really nice." I'm like, "No, no, man, you don't have to. No, that was before he called in. But now that he called in, feel free." <laughs> Yeah, sure enough, I see that now. When you look at the listing oh, for yeah, hands, it awesome. says price two. Yo, this is <laughs> the, the free market, baby. Someone's reselling in for two. Let's see if somebody buys it. I'll, that'll be wild. There's so many great tokens to buy. You can get for one. For example, the Vape Nation. <laughs> for example. All right, we're going to wrap it up. This was fun, though. All right. This is it. Guys, what can I say? It's Friday. I mean, get down on Friday. Um, have a great weekend. Safe, beautiful, COVID free. Keep your mask on and your head low. We're all going to get vaccinated in May, according to Joe Biden. Yeah. Joe Biden. I love Joe Biden. Wait. Brought. Joe Biden. Give me that shit. Oh, I want that COVID shot, bro. I'll take Joe anything. Biden, I'll wake take up. the Pfizer. I'll take the other one that I can't say. I'll take the Johnson and Johnson. Give me everything. You bad boy, Tom. You a bad boy, John. Joe Biden. Wake up. Did you have fun, Elo? It's nice having you here on Friday. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the show today? Mm, actually. I got. I have to admit that the wearing the suits, I really. I thought you hated it. I didn't hate it. It was interesting. It was interesting. And not too offend. It wasn't yeah, like it so was like, viscerally offend. Like eating me is like slightly weird. Yeah, just kind of interesting and fun. Did you like yeah, the part where you flipped the deck? I don't think I saw that. We didn't show it. I could show that to you. Often. No. <laughs> Did you like the part where he peed his pants? They didn't see no, that part. That, no. That one was weird. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great weekend. We'll be back on Tuesday with Frenemies or Monday if you remember. You know what it is. What are we going to get? What do you want to eat? Um, <laughs> I will tell you all about it off the air. <laughs> Why? It's like good. It's like good. We're ending the show. Chit chat, you know. <laughs> you're checking your phone. And yeah, so we're wrapping up like news anchors. Okay. You could be like playing the music and fading. Bye bye. Bye bye. My drinks are made while the incest on the sleep. Shredder will stop barking while Freighters act sweet. We'll do the real raw ritual with more. And ET, share a laugh with the ring. Jim C. I'll load Jimmy Lee. They said we wouldn't come back, but you we always do. Rice from the ashes like the Phoenix on the flex back to two. You're watching H to the three, three, three. You're watching H to the three, three, three. You're watching H to the three, three, three.
You're wet to nature to the three, three, three. I'm out. Taking us out. Have a good one, everybody.